boys and girls, Crafty Carol here at Cool School. We just took a look back at all the craft videos we made from this past year so that we could pick the very best of 2015. And oh my gosh, it was like my life flashed before my eyes. A Rapunzel bookmark, superhero pencil toppers, Cinderella crown, matching sunglasses, and <laughs> It's alive! Oh my gosh, this year was amazing! And in 2015, I got so much amazing love from all you crafters around the world. Fan art, letters, amazing comments, photos and videos posted online, making the crafts, and some of you even dressed up as Crafty Carol. It's pretty amazing. And you know how I always tell you guys, it's okay if you mess up while you're crafting. And boy! Did I mess up a lot? So I'm gonna. Blah, blah. Oh no! Antler down! <sighs> but it was all for the blooper reel. So watch to the end of this video and you can see the Crafty Carol blooper reel. It's a uh, pretty, pretty silly. And now, without further ado, check out the top Crafty Carol videos of 2015. <laughs> well, hey kids, Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you here at Cool School. I'm doing a special friend craft with a special friend. It's me, Miss Booksy. Look at her, it's Miss Booksy. The dynamic duo, as some, some call us. What do you think, Miss Booksy? What kind of craft should we make? Well, sometimes when I'm jumping in and out of stories in my books, I lose my place sometimes. Can you help me? Well, oh my gosh, yes I can. I have the most perfect plan. What? We're gonna make a bookmark. <gasps> That's perfect. And not just any bookmark. Who's your favorite character? of all time, mm. who's in a tower and has really long hair. Rapunzel? That's right! We're gonna make a Rapunzel bookmark. It's gonna knock your socks off. It's gonna be the cat's pajamas and the bee's knees all in one. It's gonna, <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna explode. So Crafty Carol, what do me and the kids need in order to make this craft? We're gonna use some purple foam. We have some construction paper. We got some string markers. I got black, I got yellow. Got some tacky glue. Got some glitter, just in case. And uh, scissors, and that's it. Sounds easy. Oh, Miss Books, what time is it? Oh gosh, I don't know. I forgot my watch. Oh my gosh, well good thing I already know. It's time to start making this craft. <laughs> All right, you ready? So we got this string here, and that's actually gonna be our hair. Miss Booksy, will you do the honors and make that into some nice yellow hair for Rapunzel? Some golden locks. Not Goldilocks, it's a different story, Miss Booksy. <laughs> so while she's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start sketching a tower. Some little squares, almost looks a little bit Minecrafty. And draw two lines. Little opening right there. That's the window. That's the. That's where Rapunzel's head is gonna be poking out. So, Miss Booksy, what are we gonna do with this hair? Are we just gonna leave it hanging, or are we gonna style it up? What are you thinking? I think we should braid it. <laughs> that's a great idea. Perfect. All right. I need you to hold this end so that I can braid it this way. Teamwork. Teamwork. If you don't know how to braid or you don't want to do a braid, you can do some other style. You can have the hair just hanging down. You can put it in a ponytail. Or okay. a headband like you. Actually, why didn't Rapunzel do that? She would have had the biggest top bun in the world. There we go. Perfect, and there we got a nice little braid there. So that's looking good. Maybe I'll just use this as like a hair extension. Just clip that in my hair. <laughs> oh, am I looking pretty good? If Miss Booksy had a mustache. Look at that, I had like a goatee. How about that? Vote in the comments and tell us which hairstyle you like best. Hair extension, mustache, or like a little goatee. So we need to know. I'm gonna have Miss Booksy here cut out our tower. So I'm gonna draw Rapunzel's face. Super simple, not gonna make it into the most beautiful work of art ever, although this is probably gonna be museum worthy. I'm gonna make a little circle just like that. It's like the, the size of my thumb. All done. Let me see. Oh, that's perfect. All right, got my little face here. So here's what I'm gonna do. Just put some glue on top of her head. Nice little schmurb of, of glue there. And then I'm gonna take my hair here, press it on top. All right, check it, check it out. Look how good that looks. Oh, I gotta cut the window in the tower. I'm just gonna fold your foam a little bit and just be super duper careful. Make a little snip right there. And then we're just gonna cut 
So you got one for the back, one for the front. I think our glue is pretty dry here. I'm gonna cut out this face. So be super duper careful that you don't cut your hair. Rapunzel's hair is so long and beautiful. You think you would grow your hair out that long? Mm. Do you know how long my hair is? How long is your hair? It's actually 10 feet long. Like Rapunzel? Yeah, I just, you know, I rip it up. A little dab of glue. A little bit more glue. There, I just stuck Rapunzel's head there on that, and I'll show you why. Oh, Miss Booksy, I know what you, you could do. Let's give this tower a little bit of decoration, maybe Ooh. make some lines on it, like it's made out of stone. I'm just gonna get rid of this. We just throw, wait, we don't need the string anymore. You wanna throw the string back? Awesome. One more. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, that's great. Oh, hey, I'm just, you know, Rapunzel, just a girl with super duper long hair. This book is just adding a little glitter here to make it a nice, fancy looking tower. That looks awesome. Let's let that dry. Oh, I'm always waiting for glue to dry, Miss Booksy. It's the story of my life. I have an idea. Steering contest. Okay. One, two, three. Somebody's gonna blink. My eyes are feeling so Somebody's dry. gonna blink. Oh, I blinked! Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Oh, that kid right there. I think that kid won. Good job, congratulations. All right, is our glue dry finally? I think it is. So I'm gonna take my little Rapunzel right here. I'm gonna stick that braid right through there. I think you'll see. There you go. You have a friend to help. All right, so now we're just gonna glue these together. See, I wish I had you here every time I do a craft. You can do all, <laughs> all my gluing for me. I'm always struggling with that. Oh, look how good we look. Oh my gosh. Now I'll never lose my place in my book again. You're welcome. No big deal. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. <laughs> I don't know, Miss Booksy. I think we're a pretty good team. A dynamic duo. That's what they say. Some might say. At least one comment said that. <laughs> and speaking of comments, you gotta tell us what to do next. Tell me what craft to do next, and I don't know. I think we should probably go on a new adventure together. <gasps> yes, please. We did a craft together. We did a song together. We did a song together. It's I have the best idea. Kids, you can help us out. Don't you think that Crafty Carol should come do a story with me, Miss Booksy? That's an awesome idea. So what story should we do? Should we let the kids decide? The kids should decide. All right, tell us in the comments what story you think we should do together. And also let me know what craft you want to see next too. That's where you vote. Well, hey there boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you here at Cool School. I got a lot of requests in the comments to do a princess craft. So let's do a Cinderella inspired craft. What's better than that? We're gonna make two crafts. I'm gonna make a Cinderella crown and I'm also gonna make a magic wand. So what do you need to make this craft? It's pretty simple. I've got some blue paper here, some glitter. I got duct tape, a pencil, scissors. I got a headband, pretty things like some sequins, some pearls, and I got some glue so I could stick it all together. So I think the next step is to get started making this craft. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sketch a little crown shape here on our blue paper. And I'm gonna show you a cool trick to make this perfectly symmetrical. So I only drew one side here. You fold your paper kind of loosely like this. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it out. So look at that. Comes out just perfect. It's gonna be great for our crown. All right, this is a scrap of paper. I don't think we need this. I'm just gonna go and throw it back there. Hope I didn't hit any cats or anything. So next step is let's make this thing glittery. Just cover it in some glue. Whoop. Okay, so once you got your glue on there, next step is to apply some glitter. So shake that on there. You want it to be pretty sparkly. You don't want to show up to like a fancy ball and everybody's got a sparkly crown except you. That's crazy. I'm gonna have the sparkliest crown there. Okay, I think that's enough. The next step is you just gotta let the glue dry, which could be really boring, just be sitting around waiting, but it's not gonna be boring at all because I challenge you to a staring contest. All right, get ready, one, two, three, go. You're about to blink. I, oh my gosh, I don't know. Oh man, that was. It was the worst staring contest of my whole career. I think, you know, I probably got some glitter in my eyes, so that's, you know, 
you maybe won this time, but you know I'm really good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sparkly little crown front here and we're gonna attach it to our headband so we can put the crown on. Now don't go freaking out on me if you don't have a headband because you can make the band for your crown with something else. You can use a ring of construction paper, you can use like a piece of t-shirt, you know, a little piece of string of fabric and tie that around. You could use a ribbon. There's lots of things you could do to make your crown. So, but I'm gonna use this headband. So let's start by cutting off a piece of duct tape. Snip it. You put the headband down. Once you have it centered, you're gonna roll it over and you're gonna place some tape down. So we're just gonna keep doing that until we got the bottom all covered. All right, so look at that. We've actually already got a little crown here. Except it's not done yet because we're gonna add some sequins and some pearls and you know, just make it all all fabulous, all right. So this is where you can get creative. You can do whatever you want with these. You can you can put a, an initial for your name. You can put one sequin or you can put like a hundred sequins. It's all up to you. Okay, I'm gonna do a pink sequin and I'm gonna do uh, another pink sequin. And uh, let's see, mm, another pink one. So I got some more gems on there. That's looking really pretty. All right, let's do some pearls. Making a huge mess. Oh my gosh, gonna have glitter everywhere for weeks. It's okay, glitter's sparkly and awesome. After you get everything added on, you wanna give it some time for everything to dry so all your nice, beautiful things don't fall off or get stuck to your hair. But once you have it all dry, you have one last step. Be fabulous! At the ball, you know, having fun, checking things out. Oh, hey, is that a prince over there? That's cool, I don't know, I'm pretty cool, I'm pretty laid back, I'm feeling confident in my crown. You know, whatever. Well, okay, it's time to make our second Cinderella-inspired craft, the magic wand. I got a lot of the same ingredients. I'm gonna use the sequins again, glitter, scissors, duct tape, glue, pencil, and a blue card. But I also have sticks here, and I got some uh, curly ribbon. All right, first step in making the magic wand. You can decorate your wand part, your stick. I just painted this one blue. I actually just used a magic marker. I didn't even use paint. I just, just drew it on there. But you can roll it in glitter and make it sparkly, or you can cover it in some shiny washi tape or something fun like that. Or you can just color it blue like I did. Next, we're gonna, we're gonna make two stars. Or you can do maybe a heart on top, or you can put like a little crown at the top of your magic wand. You can do a dragon's head, whatever you want. All right, so I'm gonna sketch out my star. All right, so I got a simple little star here. Now how to make two stars, that's easy. I'm gonna fold over my paper, and then we're gonna cut the star out. Okay, check it out. Two stars, oh look, they're still connected. They're like best friends. Aw, all right. Sorry guys. Okay, so now we're gonna decorate these stars with some glitter. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper here to lay down so I don't make a big old mess. And let's get some glue down there. Let's use some gold on this one. We did all the, the multicolored pretty glitter on the, uh, on the crown, but let's do some gold for our, our magic wand. Ooh, that looks fancy. All right, so we got one star covered in awesome gold glitter. Let's do the other one. Dump on your glitter. There you go, just lots and lots of, just a healthy, heaping amount of glitter. All right, so then once you got your stars all glittered up, then you gotta wait and let them dry. So it looks like our, our stars are nice and dry. So I'm gonna put one face down. Now I'm gonna take my stick, my wand right here, and I'm gonna place it in the middle. I'm gonna get a little bit of tape. Slap on some tape there in the middle of the star, like so. Okay, and now 
Maybe add some ribbons. So same thing there, you just put it there, and then you just tape it down. Okay, look at that. We're almost ready to cast some spells. We're gonna glue on our other star to the back. So let's just glue on this other star here, and we'll take our other star, fit it on there. Well, there you go, we got a nice Cinderella-inspired fairy godmother magic wand. Wish I had a giant bowl of candy. Magic bowl, a bowl of candy just appeared out of nowhere. This magic wand, magic wand's amazing. You gotta, you gotta, you're gonna have to get make one of these. <laughs> well, there you have it, boys and girls. We made a princess crown and a magic wand. So you know what to do next. Get down there in those comments and tell me what you want me to make next. So I want to give shout outs to the people who requested princess crafts. Elisa G, she says, can you make a princess craft? Yes, Elisa, I can. Sandy Lee said, can you do a princess craft? Sandy, I just told Elisa, yes, I can. Robbie Ahmed, make a Disney craft. Sound kind of bossy. Maha Ahmed saying, could you do some princess crafts, please? So just because you said please, I'm gonna do it. So thanks for those comments. Keep writing down requests in the comments. I love hearing from you, and uh, I love it when you get bossy and tell me what kind of crafts to do next. Oh, who lives in a classroom under the sea? Crafty Carol. Not really, I, you know, don't live under the ocean, but uh, but I do live here at Cool School. I'm ready to do another craft for you. So today's craft is inspired by one of my favorite guys of all time, SpongeBob SquarePants. So we're gonna make an ocean in a bottle. Wow! So what do you need to make this craft? Pretty simple. First of all, it's an ocean in a bottle, so you need a bottle. You're gonna need some baby oil, some blue food coloring so it looks like the ocean. Got some little sea creatures. Got a dolphin here. Oh, really? He was just telling me some stuff right there. I got some whales, and I got a, oh, that was a shark. And then I'm gonna make a little SpongeBob. So I got some, uh, some yellow foam here, and markers and a pencil. Sound good? Yeah? Well, let's get started making this craft. All right, step number one, take your clear plastic bottle. You're gonna wanna remove any labels if there are any on there. And I am gonna add some blue. Okay, so two drops of blue. Swirl that around. Next step, also super simple. Step number two, you're gonna pour some baby oil in there. So the cool thing about this, you might not know, is that oil and water don't mix. So this is gonna stay nice and separated for as long as you have your ocean bottle. All right, so next step, let's go ahead and get our SpongeBob ready to go in there. So you can see I, uh, I sketched some SpongeBob's here on some yellow foam. Now I'm just gonna trace that out with some, some marker. SpongeBob's pretty easy to draw if you just find a nice picture of him in a book or online, basically, a square. Well, that's looking pretty good. Got a nice nifty little SpongeBob there. I'm gonna cut this guy out. All right, so we got our little SpongeBob here cut out. I'm just gonna draw on the back too, so he's not just one-sided. And let's do a Patrick too. Well, all right then. So we have got ourselves a little SpongeBob and Patrick right here that we're gonna put into our ocean bottle. If it's okay with these guys, I think they're okay with it. All right, so I got my bottle, my ocean bottle. Boop, 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 boop. Patrick is gonna go in there. Oh, there you go. Boop, boop. Don't worry guys, I won't put the shark in there. He'll... Oh, let's do a dolphin for sure. Get him in there. Yeah, there we go, there you go. Oh, it's a hammerhead shark. They... Can't fool me, you know what, sharks Sharks go over there. Just, just stay out of it. Oh, there's another one. Okay, oh, let's do a whale. Whales are fun. Yeah. I could get him in there though. He's as big as a whale. Okay, whew. All right, so we got a whale, we got a dolphin. Pop on the top here. So what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna take some glue and go around the top of the bottle right here where the cap screws on so that you don't get a lot of oil leaking out. Ta-da! You got ocean waves in a bottle. Look at that. It's kinda like a snow globe except it's full of, of the ocean. You got a dolphin, 
and a whale in there and SpongeBob and Patrick are just jumping around. Well, okay, so I want you to make your own and tell me about it in the comments. Tell me if you did anything different, if you added some sand or some different little, like maybe an octopus like Octavio. That would be fun. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft right here at Cool School. Today we're gonna be making something super exciting. We're gonna be making dough. I don't mean like, you know, dough, like, you know, people call money dough. And I'm not talking about cookie dough, but I'd also like that because I do love cookies. But we're making Play-Doh, the most awesome kind of dough there is. You can mold it into different crazy shapes like a dinosaur and a ninja, and then the ninja and the dinosaur can can, can have a fight, and then, then they make up and they become best friends because I, I like happy endings. So what do you need to make this craft? Let me show you. So you're gonna need one cup of warm water. You're gonna need flour, salt, food coloring, canola oil, a cutting board, and some bowls for mixing. So, uh, I don't know, what else should we do today? You know, maybe talk about the weather or clean off this, this table. Maybe we can like click around on the TV and see what, uh, what else is on. Um, or we could get started making this craft. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I am gonna put some water in each of these cups. You're gonna put about a fourth of a cup in each bowl. Step number two, let's add some oil. It's like about a half a tablespoon. Now let's add some food coloring. I'm gonna do yellow, red, and blue. Well, okay, so I'm gonna stir these around. That was an original composition. I call it crafting on a spring day. Trademarked, don't pirate it. Arr. All right, let's move these bowls over. See you, bowls. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna miss you the most. All right, next step, we're gonna mix up our flour and our salt. I got three cups of flour, one for each of our bowls here. And I got a little more than a cup of salt. <laughs> Well, that's a beautiful song, too. I'm gonna call that one Ode to Play-Doh. All right, I think we're pretty mixed up here. Not in the, like, confused way, but, you know, got our stuff all nice and mixed together. Gonna add the flour and salt to our bowls. All right, got about a cup here. Put it in slowly and gently because it might splash. I'm gonna back away a little bit. <whistles> yep, there you go. Add some to our red. Gotta be careful with the red, get all over. Everybody will think I had a ketchup accident. A little more here, back away again. So now we're just stirring it up. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour here on my cutting board. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this blue dough and I'm just gonna smoosh it together till I have it nice and nice and doughy. I'm into this, it's a good ball. Put that right there for future play. All right, let's get started on our red dough. Let's stir it up. Dump it out. My mackin' pizza pie. All right, so there we go. So we got, it's not so much red, it's kind of pink. Let's see what our yellow's gonna look like. Stir and mix. Back on our cutting board, just mixing. Needin', I need to knead this dough. Boys and girls, I'd say this is pretty successful so far. So I'm gonna clean up my space here a little bit so we can, we can play. Workspace cleaned up, now it's a play space, so let's, let's make something awesome. You know, looking at these colors, I kinda wanna make, I kinda wanna make Pac-Man. Actually, this one can be a minion. I'm gonna make this one into a minion. Beautiful. It's such a work of art. I really, you should uh, should be in a museum. I'm gonna make that Pac-Man ghost I was talking about. This one could like they could hang it up in the White House. It's so good. Chomp, chomp, chomp. All right, and what are we gonna make with our blue one? Ah, it looks so real. I made a shark. <laughs> chomp. Oh, well the shark wins that fight, but now. You know, like I said, they're all just gonna 
We're all just gonna be best friends. And then you just take it apart and you just start all over and make something else. Maybe this time I'm gonna make, probably gonna make that ninja and dinosaur scenario I was talking about earlier. You know, the next step, it's pretty obvious. You're gonna get down there in that comment section and you're gonna tell me what crafts you want me to do next? This one was recommended by several of you cool schoolers out there. Olajid saying Play-Doh. Haley Webb said Play-Doh. Betty said Play-Doh. Catherine Crazy Girl said make a Play-Doh craft or something for Barbies. Well, you could, you could use this for Barbies. And then Maya said Crafty Carol, you should make your own slime or Play-Doh. So I made the Play-Doh and maybe, I don't know, maybe sometime soon I'll make some slime. <laughs> Hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here, and I'm gonna show you how I would put Humpty Dumpty back together again. I just used paper mache. And here is what you need if you want to make a paper mache egg just like Humpty Dumpty. You're gonna need a balloon, newspaper cut into strips, white paper also cut into strips, flour, water, a container to mix your flour and water, white paint and a brush, markers, some string, and some candy, just in case. Okay, first step, you're gonna mix up flour and water. Next, you're gonna stir it up until it's nice and tasty. Like this, look at that. Next step, you blow up your balloon. Then you tie a string to the balloon. Of course, right now, if this balloon was full of helium, this is when it would float up into the air, all nice, but it's not. It's just full of Crafty Carol breath. Well, okay, we're ready for the paper mache part. So you just take some newspaper, dip it in the paste, smurge it onto your balloon. And then you're gonna add your white pieces last so that your egg is easier to paint and decorate. It's kind of like pieces of eggshell. Now we're gonna need to let this dry for a long time. So, good night. <laughs> it's very important that it's completely dry and hardened. Ours feels pretty hard there, yeah? Next step. We're gonna get them all painted up. Next step, we just gotta let our paint dry. Get out of here. So it's time to give Humpty some eyes and a mouth. I'm gonna flip him over. It's just two circles. All right, now we got some nice eyes there staring right at you. I'm gonna challenge you to a staring contest. Watch out, because this guy doesn't blink. Okay, now let's draw a little mouth. Do you think Humpty should have a bow tie? I think that he should. I'm gonna use this red marker here. Oh my gosh, so fancy. All right, I'm just gonna take this circle all the way around. Oh my gosh, boys and girls, that looks exactly like Humpty Dumpty. Oh my gosh, are you glad to be back together again? I sure am. Thanks, Carol. Next step, you're just gonna pop the balloon and pull it out. Got a nice little hole poked in there. Look at this. Just pull it right out. Now here is where the candy comes in. You can fill up your egg and turn it into a pinata. And I guess you'd have Humpty Dumpty all in pieces again when you, when you whack them with a stick to get the candy out. But you know, you'd have a lot of candy and you'd have a lot of fun. So it's up to you. Just don't go setting them on any walls. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Today we're gonna be making something super duper awesome. We're gonna make some back to school supplies. But we're also gonna be making an inside out craft. We're gonna make inside out notebooks. So what do you need to make this craft? I've got two composition notebooks, some paper. We have white, pale blue, dark blue, pale yellow, and some super awesome blue glitter paper. You can buy paper like this at any kind of crafting store. I've got some glue, scissors, a pencil, a blue marker, and a black marker. I wanna do a shout out before I get started. I got something so awesome in the mail. I got a picture from Adelaide. Adelaide's three years old, and she drew this for me. Oh my God, so crafty. I know Adelaide's got a birthday coming up, so happy birthday, Adelaide. And let's see, we got on the other side, she wrote her name, drew a little heart here. Oh my goodness, it just made me so excited. It gave me joy, which coincidentally is the first 
notebook we're gonna work on. So let's get started making this craft. I'm gonna use some very pale yellow and I'm gonna cover the front of my notebook with that first. So I got it lined up here. I'm gonna trace out the cover here with a pencil and cut it out. Okay, so let's glue this baby down. I'm just gonna take a little piece of paper here and smurge this around. Okay, just cover up the notebook and that's good to go for our joy notebook. I'm gonna set that aside. The next thing we're gonna work on is the eyes. Now Joy's got those nice big popping eyes because she's so happy all the time. I actually already sketched some big big eyes there for for joy. Those are the ones I'm gonna use. First I'm gonna put all my pupils there. She's got big pupils. And I'm gonna use some blue here. It's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna cut those out. Perfect. Joy's eyes right there. Check me out. So on a lot of the posters for Inside Out, Joy's actually upside down because she's hopping all around because she's so happy. So I'm gonna make my notebook upside down. I'm just gonna do the eyes like that. Get a little glue. Press that down, make sure it's nice and flat. Put a little more glue here. That's pretty fun. Next, let's give Joy some hair. I'm gonna use this crazy awesome glitter paper here. I'm just gonna sort of do a rough sketch of what Joy's hair looks like. That's kind of what Joy's hair looks like. Put that aside, because we're gonna use that for our next notebook. I'm just gonna kind of use this guy. I'm gonna wanna make it a little bit spiky. So it looks pretty crazy on this side, but we'll flip it around. Here we go. That looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna glue that down. We got our upside down Joy, and I'm gonna give her a smiley face. I'm gonna sketch it with my pencil first to make sure I like the way it looks. I'm gonna line it with red. All right, so we got a nice big grin on Joy here. So this is what it looks like. And there it is, right side up. You know, so it would just look like that. Well, that's looking pretty awesome. Let's do our sadness. We're gonna do a light blue cover. And let's just get that traced on here. Just cut that out, exact same as before. And let's glue this blue down. Okie dokie, get this all smurged. Next, let's work on Sadness's eyes. She's got the so blue, super sad eyes. So I already started on a sketch here. And she's got big sad eyes. All right, I'm actually, I got a lighter blue marker here. Color in her eyes a little bit. Those are Sadness's little sad eyes. And let's just get these cut out here. Now we got our little, our little sad eyes here. They're just so sad. Okie doke. So we're gonna put our eyes here. Squeeze a little blue out. I got them just a little bit, just one a little lower than the other. It's part of her, her sad thing. She can barely even hold her head up. She's so sad. And now we gotta do some hair. I'm gonna use the same glitter paper. And her hair is short on one side, long on the other. Okay, so you can see right there. When I cut it out, I'm gonna flip it over and use it the other side and you'll see, you'll see why it should look like that. All right, we're looking pretty good here, or should I say pretty sad, but we need one more thing. Her glasses, character is not complete without her signature glasses. So I've got some dark blue construction paper here. I'm gonna cheat a little bit and trace my circles. Trace the inside and I'm gonna make a circle Next to it. And I'm just gonna draw a little line to connect them. Make another little circle. Here we go. Now we just gotta cut this out. This is the hard part. And I'm gonna show you a trick for this. I'm actually gonna cut right there, but that's okay. You see? And I'll just put that together when I glue it onto the notebook, so it's fine. Now let's do that on the other side. That way we can cut it out without bending everything up. All right, so we have her glasses here. They're pretty good. They're not, you know, the best glasses I ever saw, but they're pretty great. So we're just gonna glue those down. Easy 
does it. And let's just wait for that to dry. In the meantime, I'm just gonna tidy up my workspace. I won't throw the scissors, that's not safe. Oh, you know one thing I wanna add? I wanna add just a tiny little sand now. There you have it, boys and girls. We've got our sadness notebook, and we've got our joy notebook. We're happy, and then we're sad. Happy, and then we're sad. We did a pretty good job, I think. You've got a joy notebook for when you write super, you know, happy things. Like today, I watched so many Crafty Carol videos, and I made so many crafts, and they were all awesome. It was the best day ever. And then when you want to write something sad, I write stuff like today. I didn't watch a single Crafty Carol video. I didn't make any crafts, and that made me real sad. But then you'll, then you go online and you watch some more Crafty Carol videos, and you write in your joy notebook all over again. You're ready for your first day of school, and I'm ready for you to get down there in the comments and tell me what craft you want to see next. Well, hey there, kids. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Gee, I don't know, I hope you like minions. I think a few of you do. I've seen comments asking for a minions craft. So, let's do a minions craft. We're gonna be making minions goggles. Maybe you can wear them to the movie. Wore my yellow sweater for the minions episode. I don't know if you noticed, and I ate a banana earlier, just in preparation. Let's get crafting. Here's what you need. You need scissors, white paper, two mason jar lids, a ribbon, some duct tape, a pencil, and some glue. This is such an easy craft, you're gonna love it so much. You gotta make two white circles, so what you're gonna do is take your mason jar lid, top up, and put it on top of your paper, and then you're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna go in and you're gonna trace the inner circle. There you go, there's one. And let's just go ahead and make another one. Okie dokie. And now I'm just gonna cut those out. Be careful when you're using your scissors. You don't wanna pinch a finger. And if you got little hands, you can just have your parents help you. Sometimes they ask my mom to help me do stuff. All right, so we got two little white circles here. What are we gonna do with those? I'm gonna fold my paper just a little bit without making a super big crease. And I'm gonna cut. I've shown you this trick before. If you fold something and cut it, and you open it up, there you go, it's perfectly symmetrical. All right, let's do that with our other one. I'm gonna fold it, pinch a little crease there in the middle, and then cut my circle. There we go, those are looking pretty similar. All right, I'm just gonna take these and I'm gonna stick them on the inside of my mason jar lid. Let's glue this down. I'm just gonna put it there in the inside ring. Sometimes the glue is just so hard to get out. Blue booger on the top there. There we go, now it's coming out. I'm just gonna line the inner edge with glue. And I'm just gonna press that to make sure it's all smashed and smurged on the inside. Wait for that to dry. Let's do it with the other one. Wish I had some minions here to do this for me. Oh my gosh, I'd tell the minions to squeeze all my glue and then wait for it to dry for me and I'd be living the life on vacation all the time. Let's stick our other circle down. Okay, so we got our little minion eyes here. Next, let's take our ribbon. I got this nice one here, it's stretchy. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna stick it in the inside of my, my jar here. I'm gonna use some duct tape to tape it down. That easy. All right, so I got my ribbon, and I'm gonna smash it down so that it holds. It's pretty tight. Okay, that's the perfect length. I'm gonna go ahead and fasten these two mason jar lids together. Oh my gosh, I love duct tape. Just stuck them together. That's so amazing. And then I'm just gonna wrap that around. Get a little more tape for the other side. Gonna do the same thing here. All right, so that's how you do it. And ta-da! There you have it, boys and girls. Super easy DIY minion goggles. I made mine big enough to go over my glasses so I could see. So make your own and let me know how they turned out. Tell me in the comments. Or get your mom and dad to take a picture of the goggles that you made and post them to Instagram and tag Cool School. I wanna see what you make. 
Well, hey there, kids. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Oh, what's that? It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Super Carol here to make some superhero crafts today. That's right. We're going to make superhero pencil toppers. So what do you need to make this craft? Let's go down the list. I got scissors. I got some red and black felt for my capes. I got some yellow construction paper, pencil top erasers. I got some pencils, a marker, and some glue. Put on your capes, get your shields, and let's get crafting. All right, so let's get started with our Batman pencil topper first. First thing I want to do is measure out my piece of felt here. So I'm going to take this eraser. I'm just going to kind of roll it over until I see I can get my eraser 100% covered. I'm just going to cut out that size of piece of felt. See how if I roll it up, it covers the eraser? That's what you want. Okay, now I'm going to cut out my bat ears. Cut two triangles until I got a little piece like this. See? Okay, so we got our ears cut out right here. We've got our eraser. Now we're just going to glue this. Onto this. Get it all smothered in glue. And I'm just gonna wrap this around. And I got that glued on, and look at that. I got a Batman head right here. Na 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 bat head. Alright. So I'm just gonna set that aside right there. He's gonna look over my crafting table and know what kind of crime we would have around here. Maybe somebody comes along and tries to steal my crafting supplies. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cape for our little Batman, our little cape crusader here. I'm just gonna start with a rectangle of felt, and then I'm gonna make this into more of a triangle. Not quite a triangle, but almost. And then to make a hole for our pencil top, I'm gonna fold over the top, and then I'm gonna make just a tiny, just the tiniest little cut there, just the, the tiniest that you're even, like your pinky finger will barely even fit through. We're almost done with our Batman pencil topper here. I'm gonna add a little bat to this yellow. I'm just gonna freestyle it. Okay, that's looking pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take a yellow pencil here because, you know, Batman's colors are yellow and black. I'm gonna take my cape, just gonna pop that. That's why we have that just tiny little hole. Now let's just pop this right on top. Check it out. Oh my gosh, it's a super pencil. So now let's make a Superman pencil topper. Why not? Let's go ahead and make the cape. You pretty much know how to do that. Remember, we're gonna fold it over at the top and then we're gonna make the tiny, just the tiniest little cut right there. Oh, it's so tiny, it's so cute. All right, so that's our cape. Batman, watch that. Don't let the penguin or the Joker come along and, and steal. Superman's cape. So then I'm gonna take a black pen here. I'm just gonna draw a Superman face. So Superman, it's all about the hair. You know what I mean. He's got that little swoop, that little curl that hangs down right there. He probably spends hours trying to get that curl just right. Using all of Lois Lane's mousse and hairspray. Trying to get that perfect little curl. When you see pictures of Superman from the comics, he's always got a stern mouth. Guess there's no smiling when you're a superhero. I don't know why they never smile. The Joker smiles. I don't know why Batman or, or Superman can't smile. I mean, you know, he's... He's crazy, he's, he's a little bit Looney Tunes, but you know, he's got a smile on his face. Well, there you go, we got a, little, got a little Superman here. We're gonna need a shield. That's why I got this yellow construction paper. And to make the Superman shield just a little, oh my gosh, we're dealing with shapes again. What's this shape called? And I'm gonna take my red marker here and I'm just gonna outline my shape with an unknown name. And then I'm gonna draw an S in there. And let's cut that out. It's super tiny, so be careful. And I'm just gonna glue that onto our Superman. Check him out. All right, he's starting to look super. He's got a shield and everything. We'll put my cape on. Cool, all right, check that out. Well, super duper, we got two superhero pencil toppers here. We got Batman and we got Superman. What's better than that? Well, you'll probably tell me in the comments. Superman comes to save the day and then Batman shows up and he's, he's all... <laughs> well, hey there, kids! Crafty Carol here at Cool School with a brand new craft for ya. You might be excited about this one, maybe not. You tell me, but today we're making slime! <laughs> 
It's alive! You requested it in the comments. I got maybe about, oh, two billion requests for it. Mary Bell M says, slime, please, 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 please. Four times please, that's good. And Margaret says, please make a DIY slime. Yeah, I know, science. Please, thanks. It's pretty scientific, you'll see. Leah is beautiful for spacious skies. Very patriotic. Make slime and pour it over someone. It will be so funny. Oh, Leah. Then she says, P.S. Don't show the second sentence. Oops. Too late. So what do you need to make this craft? It's so super simple. First of all, you don't need borax. So I heard all you in the comments who said make slime without borax. All you need is some cornstarch, some food coloring, and water. Could it be any simpler? Well, you know, you need a bowl to mix it up and don't forget that you can't just pour cornstarch into the air and throw some water at it and it makes slime instantly. Plus that would be a mess because it'd come crashing down on your head like that. Oh my. Stop it with the slime up there. Sorry. Okay. Let's get started making this craft. So here you see I've already got cornstarch in a bowl. This is a 16 ounce container. I just poured the whole 16 ounces of cornstarch in here. And then I need half of that amount in water. I filled this 16 ounce container halfway. So that's eight ounces of water here. So let's make some orange water here. I'm gonna pop in some red there. And now let's add some yellow. Pretty simple, now I'm just gonna pour it in here. I'm gonna be real careful though and make sure I don't make a mess. Okay, so then you just, yep, mix it up with your hands there. It's gonna feel pretty awesome, squishing around like awesome mud. Oh yeah. And you wanna make sure you really get it mixed in there so you get all the dry cornstarch nice and wet. Okay, and so one of the super awesome things about this kind of slime is it pours like a liquid, watch that. Whoa, oh my gosh. But then when you play with it in the bowl, it feels almost like a solid. Look at that, just smacking it. And you can make as many colors as you want. And the good thing too is it's all safe, it's just cornstarch. Well, this was so much fun. I wanna make another kind of slime right now. I got a comment from someone named Tangus that said make slime, and then 10 hours later, he got back online, he said, oh, make galaxy slime. All right, let's put this slime away. I'm gonna wash my hands, and, and we're gonna make some more slime. All right, well, okay, that was so much fun making the orange slime. Let's try to make some galaxy slime. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it a little bit blue and purple and put some glitter in there. Got starch in here, got some water in here again, you know how I do. I'm gonna put in some blue, shake that up to mix it, pour some of the blue in there. Let's make it a little purple. Squirt some red in. Gonna add in the purple. And then I'm gonna put in some glitter. And then I'm just gonna mix it all up. Yes, we're making a little bit of a mess here, so make sure you do better than me and put some newspaper underneath you while you work and wear some messy play clothes that you can get slime on. But uh, it washes right off your hands. It's so easy, you put it under the water and it just melts away. So that's awesome. Sorry about the mess on the table, moms and dads, but it's not the worst mess. I'm gonna add a little more, a little more blue. You know what, I'm going for more glitter. This should be enough, wait, nope. Okay, look, it's a ball, and then it just turns to slime in your hands. You can smack it like a piece of ham. I don't know why I would smack a piece of ham. Don't mind me. And there you have it, boys and girls. DIY slime without borax. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. All right, just promise me that you don't make too much of a mess. So I don't want moms and dads to be mad at me. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Welcome to another brand new craft with me, Crafty Carol, right here at Cool School. Today's craft is a super awesome one. If you like awesome stuff, you came to the right place because we're making a robot mask. So we had a request in the comments from Vian Zachary asking, could you make a giant robot, please? It would be awesome. I agree, it would be awesome. We're not gonna make a giant robot today, just the mask, but you know, we'll work up to the giant robot one day. 
one piece at a time. So what do you need to make this craft? This one's pretty simple. You can use a lot of stuff that you find around your house. A paper bag, the cardboard roll from a paper towel roll. I got the lids of two mason jars. I got glue and I got scissors. I got duct tape and I have some extra special sparkly duct tape. And then I have some sparkly pipe cleaners. Maybe not something you got laying around the house, but you know, if you're into super awesome crafts like I am, you might, you might have a whole closet full of pipe cleaners, I don't know. Does anybody have the time? What time is it? I don't seem to, oh, you know, I know what time it is. It's time to start making this craft. So first thing, we got a paper bag and I just trimmed off the bottom here because I didn't want it to be too tall. You don't want to look like Abraham Lincoln wearing a stovepipe hat as a robot. I mean, maybe you do, maybe you're super into history. I'm just gonna start covering this in some duct tape, making it look awesome. And I'm just gonna cover every little bit of my bag. Well, okay, so we have our bag all covered in duct tape. We got the sparkly silver in front and just plain silver duct tape in the back. So let's give our robot some eyes. So we're gonna use these mason jar lids. And I got a Sharpie here. Got my jar lid down here. And I'm just gonna trace on the inside. So see, there you go. You got a black circle there. And I'm gonna do another one. Don't wanna put them too far apart because you wanna actually be able to see out of the eye holes yourself. So you don't go around with your robot mask bumping into things. You don't wanna be a clumsy robot. All right, so there we go. We got two eyes there. You can see right next to me, it's, it's about where, where my eyes would be. All right, so let's cut these out. What I do when I have to cut out a circle like this, I fold it up a little, and then I give myself a snip right there, and then it's easy to cut out. So let's do it again. So you see I've got my circle here, so I'm gonna take my bag and I'm just gonna fold it right there a little bit in the middle of the circle, and then I'm just gonna give myself a little little snip. Then I can just reach right in there and cut out my circle. Well, all right, there you go. It's already looking pretty cool. Kind of looks like a ghost robot right now though. So let's add, let's add these mason jar lids. It's gonna make it really pop. So you just make a ring of glue around your jar lid and then you just smush it down right here and then you just hold it for a while. And you just, you know, you daydream. You think about fun things like having a robot. So once your glue is dry, check it out. You got some pretty nifty robot eyes right there. I'm just gonna draw the mouth on with a Sharpie. How's that looking? That's looking like a pretty good robot mouth right there, that little rectangle. So then we're gonna cut that out, pinch it up a little bit, give it a snip. This is why I like to use a paper bag instead of a cardboard box. Cardboard can be really hard to cut. Paper bags are nice, easy to work with. Well, it's looking pretty good. All right, so now's the time to add all sorts of fun stuff to your robot mask. You can add springs or bolts, or you could even add mouse ears like Ricky Ricotta's Mighty Robot. Let's see, what are we gonna add to our robot? I'm gonna take this and I am gonna cut a little. Let's do another one of those, About the same size. So let's cover this in our sparkly duct tape. Now I'm gonna cut little tabs there at the bottom. I can bend these out and it's easier to glue on. All right, so let's decorate our other one. Put a little glue. And you gotta just sit there and wait for it to dry. I feel like I spent half my life waiting for glue to dry. Well, I don't know about you, but I think this robot's looking pretty darn good. I'm almost expecting him to start talking to me in some kind of, kind of robot language. Some, like, a lot of beeps and boops. Like that. My goodness. Let's add a few other little things here, because I got these pipe cleaners. We could add some little springs springing off. Well, what if we gave him some eyebrows? That might be cute. We'll just take this, uh, this pipe cleaner and just sort of twist it around my fingers until it's a nice little, little curly spring like that. I'm gonna use tape. I don't think glue is gonna work so well on these pipe cleaners. Turn around towards me. You ready for your close up, Mr. Robot? Oh yeah? We might just have to go ahead and make a giant robot one of these days, cause I am liking this. This is fun. Get a nice big giant robot costume, go out on the streets, walk around, go to the grocery store, just push in your cart. Go to school in your robot costume. And ta-da, here we go. Our very own do-it-yourself, you made it robot mask. 
Now I just gotta figure out how to put my glasses on with this thing. Hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here at Cool School with a brand new craft for ya. I'm just chilling with my best friend forever right over here. That's Miss Booksy right there. Hey guys! <laughs> hey Crafty Carol! Oh hey Miss Booksy! I was just catching up on some reading. I was reading Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, I love the Alice in Wonderland you've been doing here at Cool School. It we just happened to be making an Alice in Wonderland craft today. An Alice in Wonderland craft? Mm. Are we making something that has to do with a rabbit? Oh, we might be. Are we making something that has to do with cookies? No, I wish though, because I'm super hungry and I could totally go for a giant cookie right now. Mm. Anyway, what's the craft? We are making Alice in Wonderland snow globes! <gasps> Yay! That's right, get excited. So, Miss Booksy, help me out. What do we need to make this craft? Well, we need colored pencils, glitter, clear tape, scissors, glass jars, baby oil, and we've got some old illustrations from the original Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Let's get started! Okay! All right, we're gonna pick out a picture to go on our snow globe, and we're gonna color it. It's that simple. Miss Booksy, I'll let you choose first. Mmm, I'll do Alice. You picked the best one! Oh, oh okay. my gosh! Oh, sorry. Uh, it's do you, okay. You okay. can have it. You can have it. Uh, I'll do the rabbit. So we're gonna get to coloring. So, Miss Booksy, while we're just sitting here coloring, why don't you tell me what uh, what's gonna happen to Alice in her next adventures? Okay. Okay, well, I won't give you any spoilers, but I'm gonna go to this really cool tea party. Then I'm gonna meet someone royal, but I'm not gonna tell you who. Oh my gosh, is it Prince George, that little baby in London? I love that baby, he's such a cute little baby. No, it's not <laughs> Prince George. Okay, well I guess it still sounds pretty cool. It's super cool. I bet it's the most super califragilistic XP Alex. Cooly cool cool! We're all finished with our coloring. Here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna laminate our pictures. So we're just gonna use some clear plastic tape. So what you wanna do is just get the surface of your picture that you're gonna use covered completely, and you're gonna do it front and back. So Ms. Booksy, let's go ahead and start laminating oh. your picture right there. Oh no, oh my gosh! Oh no! It's a crafting emergency, we gotta get it off! No, it's stuck to your hair! Oh, that was close. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> Good thing I was here. Now it's time to just cut out our little figures here. Get the last little bits uh, off. So I've got I've got my little rabbit here. I just have my little Alice little here. Alice. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Alice. Hi. I'm just gonna like keep looking at my watch. Looks like I'm gonna oh. drink some potion here. Oh. Hey, watch out. Oh. Oh, my God. We're gonna make a little stand. I'm just gonna put some more tape down here on this paper. So here's what we did. I just put tape on two sides of a piece of paper, super simple. And now I'm just going to cut the rectangle here. Okay. It's got tape on both sides so that it can get wet and it's not gonna get ruined. I'm going to make a little stand, like a little kickstand for each of these characters. Aww. I made this one with a little, a little extra meat on the bottom there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna cut a slit right there so that I can fold one tab one way and one tab the other way. Then I'm gonna stick my bunny on the thing. Wow. That's what, so that'll keep it, and then I'll glue that down so it stays glued to the top of our jar. So let's do one for Miss Booksy, for Alice. So there you can see how that's gonna work. All right, let's take these down. And here we go. We got two standing characters from Alice in Wonderland. Look at that. All right, so now that we've got little stands for our characters here, we're gonna tape them to the lids of our jar. That's how we're gonna get them inside the snow globe. You wanna tape it to the inside of the lid, not the outside. Get the jar there. I'm gonna get you some tape. That right there. Okay. So what we're doing is we're taping the tabs down. Okay, so check that out. We've got Alice there standing on her own like an independent woman. I love it. So now I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna do my rabbit. Jar lid, place it down. All right, and then you just take your tape and there we go. And check it out! We got two awesome characters here standing up. What we're gonna do now okay. is we're gonna take our baby oil right here. Okay. And we're gonna just 
So you don't want to fill it all the way to the tip tip top. So right now we've got it like right there. Now let's get glitterified. This glitter is really cool. This came with uh, two different kinds of glitter. I got some white fine glitter here and then I've got some nice big chunky blue glitter here. Oh my gosh and somebody in the comments recently said that I was the glitter queen. Glitter queen? That's right. That's wow. Right. Hail to the glitter queen. We are not worthy. I will throw my glitter oh. up to the to my royal subjects. <laughs> Pretty much like the best compliment ever. I'm just gonna start going for it. A little more blue in there. Wow. Here you go, Miss Booksy. You get started with yours. You ready to put these in here? One, two, two three. three. Uh, Watch out. Oh, oh my god, it's oh, so cool. Oh my god, it's so cool. Oh, 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 Cool. All right, now you're gonna seal these up. You make sure you get it sealed tight because you don't want oil spilling all over the place. Let's turn these over and see how they fly. Ooh! All right! Wow! That's awesome! Cool! It's a whole flurry. Okay, so these are looking pretty awesome. I will tell you, I do think the big flakes of glitter do a lot better in the oil. The fine, the super fine glitter takes a long time for it to settle, but it is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. You know what the most fun part of this is though? Shaking it? Yeah. And voila! There we go. There you have it. <laughs> Your very own DIY Alice in Wonderland snow globes. Why did we choose Alice in Wonderland again? Well, I've been telling an Alice in Wonderland story and we have some new Alice in Wonderland chapters coming soon to the channel. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. I hope you're excited because today we have an extra super craft for all you superheroes out there. We're making the number one most awesome superhero accessory, and that is we're making a jetpack. And the reason I'm making a jetpack today is because I got inspired by my buddy, Drew Pendis. He saves the first day of school and I don't know, he might just have a, a friend named Crafty Carol help him out. So what do you need to make this craft? Two large plastic bottles. I'm using large soda bottles. Tissue paper. I've got some orange and yellow here. Glue, some glitter, scissors, and duct tape. Okie dokie, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take those big soda bottles and we're gonna get them all glittered up. All right, so I got my two extra large soda bottles here. Put some glitter down here. We take our bottle here and we're gonna just cover it in glue and roll it in glitter. You gotta work fast so your glue doesn't dry while you're doing this. And let's just roll it around here. Well, that's looking pretty good. Check that out. Let's just get a little more glitter up top here. I like this part because it's kind of like we're making a snowstorm with glitter. Pretty awesome snowstorm. All right, so we got one of our bottles all glittered up nice and glittery and beautiful. And I'm just gonna let that dry. Let's do bottle number two. Okay, our second bottle is looking pretty awesome and jetpacky and superhero-y and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm just gonna let this one dry too. Next step is we're gonna make our flames go out the, the back of the, the jetpack and propel you through space. I got one kind of big long strip of tissue paper here. I'm just gonna cut kind of some sort of triangles and zigzags. Just keep going and make it look like super awesome, crazy jetpack flames powered by jet fuel. Awesome. Kind of looks like giant teeth. <laughs> that was my impression of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, let's do some yellow flames now. I'm gonna double this up. I'm gonna do a bunch at once. And there you go with the yellow. And let's do this orange here. Next, we are going to put all these nice, super awesome flames together. And you're gonna need two bunches of flames, because you got two different jetpack canisters. 
We've got some yellow here, I've got some orange here, a dark orange, and you just layer them like that so you can see all the colors. And then I'm just gonna roll it up. There is our first bundle of awesome jetpack flames. Let's do our other, roll this up. Okie doke, so now I'm just gonna have to take some tape here to secure the ends of that so it all sticks together. There we go, let's do this one too. Now look at that, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Alrighty, one of the next things we're gonna do is we're gonna make some straps, because you gotta be able to strap on your jetpack, right? I got some tape here. I'm just gonna do one nice long strip here. I'm gonna double it up. And we'll double it up going back that way. And so the end result, what you want is to have two sides of tape stuck together so that you've got the non-sticky part on both sides. Let's see, is that long enough to be my strap? Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. So let's do another one. Measure them out to be the same length. And oh my gosh, I ran out of tape. Oh. It's okay though, because I have more. No big deal in the Crafty Carol crafting station. And you might say, well, Crafty Carol, that purple tape doesn't match your yellow tape. And I'll just say, that's no big deal. Oh, what is a big deal is I'm getting it stuck everywhere except where I'm supposed to get it stuck. There we go, now it's stuck in the right place. Alrighty, you got part purple, part yellow, just for good measure to make a match. Add a little purple over here. So there we go, we got two cool straps for our jetpack here. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our two jetpack canisters here. So I'm gonna use some silver duct tape now. Slap them on there, attach that, come around here. Alrighty, and let's do one more strand of duct tape around there. This time, I'm gonna take my strap here, I'm gonna just hold it down there, I'm gonna loop it around, and then make it so it's like a circle. I'm just gonna hold that down with a little bit of tape there, and let's do our other strap, make a nice loop here, and then we're gonna roll this tape through. This can get tricky, because you got a lot of tape. But there you go, you kinda see, it's pretty simple. You're just making your two loops, and you're taping them down. Okay, oh, this is looking pretty awesome. All right, so, Last step, we're gonna take our little our little flames here. It also kind of looks like pom-poms if you're a cheerleader. And you see, see, you got your C, you got your C. So I'm just gonna take this, stick it right there in the drink spout. Make sure it's nice and secure so when you're out there jetpacking all over the world, then uh, you won't have any troubles. Check it out. Da -da -da -da. It's one awesome jetpack. Was me making a jetpack landing. There you have it, boys and girls. The most awesome, super duper superhero jetpack ever. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new cool school crafting episode. I hope you're ready. If not, I'll, I'll wait. I'll take, okay. You ready? Okay, so today we are gonna make a Hello Kitty Craft! I'll read a few requests to you now. It's my, my joy notebook from Inside Out. If you want to learn how to make that, you can click right over there. But wait, first, let's make our Hello Kitty Craft. All right, so our request. River Lynn, you commented three different times for Hello Kitty. Thanks for commenting so much. Gregory Vaz says, Miss Booksy, please make a Hello Kitty story. Wait a second, that's not a comment for me. It's a comment for Miss Booksy. But I'll let her know, Gregory, don't worry. Oh, I got a lot that just said Hello Kitty. So either you were requesting a Hello Kitty craft or you were just saying hi to a cat. That's fine. I say hi to my cat all the time. Hi, cat. Meow. All right. Manny Tomeo, Tomayo. I say Tomeo, you say Tomayo. I don't know. Manny says, Hello Kitty, back to school, please. Well, Perfecto, because that is 
what we're gonna do. All right, enough gabbing, let's get started. What do you need to make this craft? I've got this red pencil box that I got from a crafting store for $1. I've got some paper here and markers. I've got one black and one yellow. I have some red glitter glue, Mod Podge, and a little sponge to sponge that on. I got scissors and a pencil. So you'll see here with my pencil box, there's a little square right here, so it's perfect for personalizing. But I wanna fill that up with some nice paper. I got this super cool transparent sort of paper that's got polka dots on it. So we're gonna use that as our background here. I'm just gonna take that, fit that in there, and I'm gonna just trace the side so I know what size to cut it. So you're just gonna cut, and we're just gonna around the edges here. Perfect! And I'm gonna take my Mod Podge here, and I'm just gonna glue it down. Okay, let's see how that dries. Okay, next thing we wanna do is sketch our Hello Kitty. This is where your artistry is gonna come in. First things first, you can see I already sketched one here earlier, because I wanted to practice. But let me show you now how I do it. I like to start with the ear. All right, I'm gonna give a little there. And then I'm gonna do a big circle. There we go. Let's put in our bow here. All right, and then let's just poke our other ear right out. I'm gonna erase some of my lines. And then Hello Kitty's got that little nose. And then two little eyes. I'm gonna do those whiskers. So there you have it. I'm just gonna go over it now with some marker. And you can get your mom or dad, somebody to help you out with this part. All right, and just get your little Hello Kitty there cut out. Be careful here when you're cutting these little whiskers. And check it out, we're almost ready to glue this little kitty down to our pencil box there. I'm gonna take out my yellow marker here and I'm gonna make a little yellow nose there. And I'm gonna outline it in black, like so. Here we go. And now I'm gonna take, where, there it is, I found it. Don't worry, I'm gonna take my red glitter glue here and I'm gonna fill in the bow. You can use regular glue with red glitter or you could just color it in with a red marker. Totally up to you. Check her out. Looking pretty good with her glittery red bow there. So I'm just gonna let this dry. It's gonna take a while. I don't know what else to do. Oh yeah, I know what I'll do. I'll challenge you to a steering contest. It's been a while, so blink a few times. Get ready. Okay, one, two, Three, go! Oh! Oh my gosh, I can't believe I blinked. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought I was gonna win that time. Good job. You, great job. Okay, I know it took forever. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue here on the back of our kitty here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and place that right there in the middle of my pencil box. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it! Da -da -da. There you go, you got the most nifty, handy dandy pencil box in the entire universe. So that's pretty good. Ah, oh, I love it! It's so great! The little kitty! Oh! She said hello back. All right, cool. And you can put just about anything you want in here, you know. It's a pencil box. I'm gonna put my, my pencil in there. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take my glitter glue. I mean, why not? Yellow marker, black marker. I'm gonna put my, my cat in there. Okay, here's a dog. Wait, wait, no, no, don't mix cats and dogs. Better not put the dog in there. But uh, here we go. And there you have it, boys and girls, a Hello Kitty pencil box. And of course, you don't have to make Hello Kitty if you want to do a character like Garfield, the Aristocats, or I like the Cheshire Cat, like in Alice in Wonderland. That cat's pretty fun. You can put a picture of Crafty Carol. I mean, you know, well, you know, if you want to. I'm not pressuring you or anything. I want to give a special fan shout out to Nora. Nora created this amazing fan art right here. It's beautiful, Nora. Thank you so, 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 so much. 
Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here at Cool School with a brand new craft. Today, we're gonna be getting crafty with some duct tape. Today, we're gonna be making a bowl out of duct tape. You can wear it in your hair. You can attach it to your backpack. You can give it to your mom for Mother's Day. You can put it on a present for your dad for Father's Day or send it to me for Crafty Carol Day. Ooh, you can wear it as a bow tie if you're going to a really fancy dinner or the opera or really nice jazz brunch. All right, so what do you need to make this craft? It's super duper simple. You're gonna need some duct tape. I've got some from Kid Made Modern. Some safety pins in case I wanna attach it to something or a bobby pin if I'm gonna put it in my hair. And that's it. So first step, we're just gonna pull some tape off here. I'm just gonna pinch right here and rip it. And I'm gonna just place that down here, sticky side up. Stay there, stay there. And I'm gonna take another piece, I'm gonna make this just a little bit shorter. Pinch, tear. All right, so we've got our two pieces of tape, and then I'm gonna take my tape here, I'm gonna line it up, and I'm gonna place this one sticky side down on top of the other tape. And then you still got this sticky part here, let me show you what that sticky part's for. You're gonna fold, and then you're just gonna fold right over. Nice little circle of tape here. Get it focused, ah, uh, there you are, hey. All right, so we got our little circle here. Let's make a little strip of tape for the middle. Roll me a little bit of tape here, not much, just a little. Pinch, rip. And for this one, all I'm gonna do is just fold it over, make a skinny little ribbon out of it. First like that, and you're just gonna keep folding. Voila, we have a nice little duct tape ribbon here. This is so easy. You're gonna be writing in the comments, Crafty Carol, I made 175 of these, because they were so easy. I made one for every kid in my class. That's a big class. There are too many people in your classroom. Okay, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is just scrunch this up. Now what do I mean by that? I'm just gonna take a little pinch here, and then like kinda fold it here. Then I'm gonna do a little, another little pinch there until, da 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 you got yourself a little bow tie. Okay, so then we take our little ribbon here, and we're just gonna wrap it around the middle. And then how are we gonna attach it all together? Well, that's pretty easy. We gotta. A whole ton of duct tape here. Put a little tape under here, under the first part of our loop. And then we're just gonna tuck it right underneath there. Don't wanna make it too tight so you can get your safety pin or your bobby pin through there. I'm just gonna stick it through right here. Oh my gosh, I look so fancy. I look like a butler. I'm gonna make a small one here for my hair out of this pink tape. If I can find the end of it. Sometimes I'll spend a whole day looking for the end of a roll of tape. Found it. Pinch, pinch, rip, a little shorter. Boop. And you just lay them down on top of each other. Fold over, fold over onto your sticky. Make a ribbon, just fold, fold, and fold. Scrunch, scrunch, and scrunch. Scrunching's my favorite part, mostly because I like saying scrunch. Ooh, I like this hair bow. This looks like something Draculaura from Monster High would wear. Just put a ribbon around there. And let's just put a little tape, put a bobby pin on that one. Well, then you got a hair bow. That's pretty awesome. Let me get this with my hair. And there you have it, boys. Ooh, oh my gosh, my bow tie is so fancy. It gave me a fancy accent there for a second. I it really did sound like a butler. So I was gonna say, there you have it, boys and girls, a super easy DIY duct tape bow. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you here at Cool School. Today, I wanna make a special Valentine's Day craft. I got inspired because my friend Ruta from Ireland sent me a handmade card. It's got hearts all over it here. It says, to Crafty Carol from Ruta. She made this herself and sent it to me all the way over the ocean. It's got a picture of me and Ruta doing a rainbow loom craft. I just love it so much. I gotta do a Valentine's Day craft. So we're gonna make Valentine's Day party poppers. They're so much fun and so easy to make. So, well, I don't know. Let's get started. So what do you need to make this craft? It's super easy. You need some uh, cardboard core here from a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. You need some curly ribbons to tie up the ends. You need stuff to put inside your party poppers. So I got some little heart stickers. Those are sweet, just some little doodads and things. I got some confetti. 
that I made myself with construction paper. I got some tissue paper in Valentine's Day colors. And then most important of all, I got some candy. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through this craft without eating all the candy first. It's calling my name. Carol, we're chocolate. Hush, I gotta make this craft. All right, I'll just have one piece. Well, okay, so let's get started. Put this paper plate down and I'm gonna take two halves of my paper roll. Put some heart stickers in there. Put a couple of doodads, some candy. Put in a bunch of confetti. And then I'm gonna use this pretty fuchsia paper for my first one. You gotta be careful when you're transferring your paper roll over to your tissue paper because your stuff's gonna wanna spill out. But that's okay, you got enough stuff it's all right if you spill some out, you can just push it back in there. Got my other half here coming, here it goes. And I'm just gonna start rolling it up. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little piece of tape, pop that right there. I'm gonna take a curly ribbon. Okay, and I'm gonna wrap that around because it's kind of long. I'm gonna tip this over. Now I'm gonna tie up this end. Oh my gosh, it's looking like a giant piece of candy. All right, so we got one there. It's looking great. I'm gonna make another one, cause like, why not make two? So let's start by popping some confetti. You know, actually I wanna make some more confetti and I wanna show you how to make confetti. So it's so, so, so easy. This is construction paper I already cut up a little bit. I'm gonna cut lots of narrow strips here. See that? You just cut and you just got little, little squares of confetti. It's so, so easy. You can cut one square at a time if you want, but you'd just be wasting time just cutting squares all day. Be like, oh, what'd you do on Saturday? Oh, I don't know. Crafty Carol told me to make some confetti, so I sat around cutting tiny squares all day. No, I didn't. Crafty Carol didn't tell you to do that. Crafty Carol told you to be time efficient and do it like this. All right, some heart stickers, candy. Oh, my paper right here. Okay, let's test these little Valentine's Day poppers out. Are you ready? Put a hand on each side and you gotta get ready to just rip it open. All right, and one, two, three. Happy Valentine's Day, woo! Oh my gosh, and then you just, oh wow, I got candy here. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat a piece of that. Okay, let's pop this other one. And one, two, three. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, yeah! Oh, man, awesome. More candy. I'm gonna keep those, put those in my pocket. So there you have it, boys and girls. That's how you make Valentine's Day party poppers, and that is how you bust them open for your Valentine's Day party. If you wanna send me a picture of a craft you made or just a little note saying hi, I want you to, to comment below and then tell me what it was. Make a Valentine's Day party popper like this, or you might make something brand new that I've never even heard of. And hey, who knows? You might get a shout out on an episode of Cool School like Ruta did here. So happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you out there. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here, the brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Today, we are gonna be making some super special back to school presents for your teacher. Gee, thanks, Carol. Two different types of pencil jars. One that looks like an apple because teachers love apples. They love them so much, they never get sick because, you know, apple a day keeps the doctor away. And we're also gonna make a glitter jar. So, what do you need to make this craft. Hmm, I wonder if only someone could tell us. All you need is two jars. I've got one that's round for the apple, red paint, green paper, and scissors, glue, glitter, some sponges, and that's it. First, we're gonna paint the inside of our apple jar. Where's my red paint? Red paint right here. Squeeze a little bit out right there. And I'm just gonna go crazy in here. I need some more paint. Well, I think we are looking pretty darn good here with our apple jar. So while this is drying up, I'm going to cut out some cute little leaves to put on the side here. So I like to fold a piece of paper so I can make things exactly the same size. I'm just gonna freestyle this, cut out a couple of leaves. So check that out. I've got two leaves right here. Pretty simple, we're just gonna glue it to the front. 
or the back or the, you know pretty much any side is the front when it's a circle dab a little bit of just a teeny little little bit of glue here and i'm just gonna inside there so the leaves stick together all right check it out so we got a cute little apple jar here that's just precious all right, I'm gonna just set that aside while it fully dries. Let's get started on the glitter jar. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. You're gonna like this one. So I've just got a little jar here. This one had some salsa in it. Oh, it's so good, so spicy. I also love pizza. Let me just go on the record. I love pizza. And lima beans, I don't know. They're just great, I love them. All right, so for this one, we are doing the same sort of situation as we did with our apple, putting glue on the inside. Do it fast so your glue doesn't dry before you're ready to glitterify it. That would be a tragedy. Came into craft one day and all my glue was dried up. Oh my gosh, what would I do? I guess I'd have to make more duct tape crafts. We've got a lot of glue in there. Now we're gonna just dump some glitter. Where'd my glitter go? Oh, there it is, whew. Better put some paper down so I don't make the hugest mess in the world. Gosh, I'm really trying to be better about not making the biggest mess. And then we just dump it in. Shake it around so it gets glitter in every little nook and cranny. I'm spilling glitter everywhere, oh my gosh. What happened to my goal of like one minute ago to not make the hugest mess? Now I'm making the hugest mess, oh my gosh. All right, let's let that dry up a little bit. got two super awesome teacher gifts. Your teacher is gonna go crazy when she sees these. Ooh, look at that. Oh my good, oh, I'll put some sponges in there too. And some scissors. That is nice. I would be over the moon if somebody brought me one of these jars as a gift. And there you have it, boys and girls. Two super duper, super simple, super easy, super amazing crafts for your teachers. It's gonna be a really good school year if you show up with one of these. Well, hey there, kids. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you here at Cool School. A bunch of you told me you wanted ideas for Father's Day crafts, so I thought real long and hard, what do dads need? Well, they need a tool belt. So, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own do-it-yourself handy dandy tool belt. So let's go over the tools you're gonna need to make this craft. We're gonna need some string, a stapler, some zipper bags, duct tape, and scissors. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna take our zipper bags here and we're gonna cover it with some stylish duct tape. Just because you're going out to work with tools doesn't mean you can't have a little style. All right, and just like that, and you're just gonna cover your bag however you want. I'm gonna probably mix mine up, you know, not just with the purple and black, so let's try some yellow here. Da -da -da, with that, cool. Well, all right, look, there you go. You got your whole front covered here, and you can just trim off any, any extra parts you have here. Be careful you don't cut your bag, though. Oh, look at that, that's a pretty awesome looking pocket if I do say so myself, and I, I just did. I said it, it's a good pocket. We're not just gonna have one pouch for our tool belt. Let's make two pouches. Let's just go with some solid yellow first. This reminds me of the time we made our Pokemon pencil cases, so, you know, should watch that after it's done. Pretty good craft. Well, all right, these are looking pretty good. This is gonna be a pretty stylish tool belt. You're gonna wanna wear it to school. And your, your dad, if you give it to him for Father's Day, he's probably gonna wear it to every fancy occasion he has. But let's do this. Let's leave one of them nice and big so you can fit lots of stuff in there. And then this one, we're gonna make little compartments. So how are we gonna do that? Super simple. We're gonna take our stapler here, gonna put your, your bag in about a third of the way. Move it down almost like a sewing machine. Don't staple up too far because you want to still be able to zip open and close. Flip it around to the other side here and make your other compartment. And there we go, we got three separate compartments here. All right, so we got our pockets done. So let's make the belt. I'm gonna pull a pretty long piece there. And we're just gonna lay that out. And if you're making it for yourself, you just make it big enough so it'll go around your waist. If you're making it for your dad or your mom, then you'll just make it a little bit bigger. I assume they're bigger than you, they usually are. 
Oh, let's, let's add some string. So the reason we're adding string is because string is gonna be a little easier to tie than tape will be. Just make some string. Gonna lay it out. There we go. There we go. Looks almost like police tape. Oh my gosh. Watch out. There was a crime scene. Somebody came and stole all my candy. Call the authorities, please. And just to cover up my sticky, sticky side of the tape right here, I'm just gonna use small pieces of tape because it's gonna be a lot easier to handle. You know, if you have two extra long, crazy pieces of tape that you're trying to stick together, they're gonna get all tangled up and you're gonna get tied up into a bunch of tape and then you won't be able to get out of your crafting chair. You can even go to the bathroom. All right, look at that. So easy. Just sticking tape to tape. That's all we're doing. It's a pretty good looking little belt right there. Well, it doesn't look like a belt yet, but you know what I'm saying. It's gonna be a belt soon. Well, let's make some belt loops here. Just gonna tear off a little bit of tape and we're gonna just fold and fold and fold. And so you want these loops to be big enough to fit all the way around your belt here. All right, so that's good right there. So we made our loops. Take a little bit of tape here. And just tape it around. Okay, well there you go, you got a handy dandy loop. Let's make another one. Okie doke. So let's make that the same size. We're gonna do two loops for each pouch. So, I got two. Let's do the math. I need, uh, let's see, I'm gonna need two more. All right, thank you. Thanks for shouting that out. I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, okay, so we have our loops here. We got four loops. We're gonna put them on the back side of our pouches here. Take one here, got that taped down. Let's tape down our other. And you just wanna line it up. All right, so check it out. Handy dandy. We got some loops. All right, and then you just do the same thing to your other bag. So we got our loops on both sides, on both pouches. So let's loop this belt. And just pull that through. So it looks like right there in the back. And then, da -da -da -da, voila, here's our tool belt from the front. We got one big pocket here that zips and unzips. We got our pocket here with three compartments, also zips and unzips. Well, let's try this baby on, see how she looks. And there you have it, kids. You got a handy dandy tool belt. And you can decorate it however you like. If you're giving it to your dad for Father's Day, you can write something awesome about your dad there. Put like a superhero patch on the front. So many different things you can do with your tool belt. So like, what are, what are we gonna put in there? Go ahead and put candy in there. And put some duct tape in there because it's good for crafting. Some markers. Oh my gosh. Just filling this thing up with goodness. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here at Cool School with a brand new craft for you. Today, I am taking my inspiration from springtime, blue skies, and one of my all-time favorite creatures, the bee. We're gonna make a cute bee kite and I'm going to use awesome little Maya the bee here as my model. All you need is a yellow piece of paper, some string, a stapler, some black paint or markers for your stripes, and whatever else you want to decorate your bee with. I've got some fuzzy yellow pipe cleaners and some googly eyes, so I'll also need some glue for that. And that's all you need. This is gonna be the easiest, flyingest, bumblebeeinest kite you ever made, I promise. Now, let's see, uh, time is it? Oh, I know what time it is. It's time to start making this craft. Well, okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give our yellow paper some black bee stripes. You can use black paint or a marker. Uh, I'm gonna use this big marker here, and uh, let's just make some stripes up and down. Bees get a bad rap, but did you know that they help flowers and plants grow? They do that with the pollen they spread around. So next time you smell a pretty flower, eat a piece of delicious fruit. You better thank a bee. Thanks, bees. Well, there we go. Those some pretty good looking bee stripes right there. So now what are we gonna do? We're just gonna flip it over. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. You are not gonna believe how easy this kite is gonna be to make. So the next thing you wanna do is just fold your paper over like this. And you're just gonna make a nice crease right here. Oh, 
I'm learning all about bees. How interesting. So the next thing I want to do is add some antenna. There you go. So I'm just going to take my pipe cleaners here and just put them right there in the front. And then I am going to staple them in place. That's how easy it is to get your antenna in there. So the next thing you want to do is just fold back. Don't fold it down all the way. Don't make a crease in it. You want it to be nice and loose right here. That's where it's going to catch the wind. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with the other side. And I'm just going to staple that down. Now check that out. That's looking pretty good. We've almost got ourselves a kite here. So now we're going to attach our string so our kite can fly up in the air. Kites need a string or else they just fly away. You never find them again. You know, Maya the Bee is actually a perfect inspiration for our craft because kites fly way up in the sky and Maya flies through the meadow and meet no friends. So, you know, we're both flying. So I'm going to take this little bit of string here, the same place where you stapled your ends together. And if you want some extra security there, you can tie a little knot. But I think we got it pretty strong here. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some googly eyes. And I'm going to put the eyes right up here. Here we go again, just waiting for glue to dry. And let's add our finishing touch here, the last googly eye. I mean, not the last googly eye ever. That would make me so sad. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. We got ourselves a bee kite here. There's just one step left. We gotta see how she flies. And there you have it, a bee kite. Perfect for a warm, breezy day. You might say I'm the, uh, I'm the queen bee of crafts. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you. Just kidding, I'm here. That was a pumpkin. That's not my real face. You knew that. But Crafty Carol here for with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Today we're going to be making something super awesome and super fun for the most awesome and super fun day of the year. We're going to be making a Halloween craft. <laughs> So what is this amazing Halloween craft we're doing today? Well, we're going to be making a Halloween candy bucket. Now I know I can hear you. I know what you're saying out there, but Carol, you already have a super awesome candy bucket right there in front of you. Duh. But we're gonna jazz this one up. We're gonna, we're gonna make this into a super awesome custom bucket. We're actually, we're gonna make it into a bat. You could say it's a candy like basket, but we're, we call it a candy bat kit. So what do you need to make this craft? Well, you need some black felt, some cardstock, a candy bucket, googly eyes, some glue, scissors, and some tape. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our bat wings. So what I'm gonna take here is my cardstock, and I'm gonna take two pieces of black felt and I'm gonna glue it on either side. It's glue time! And just smudge that there, right there. And let's just do the other side here. So there is one that we've got felt on two sides. And the reason you want cardstock in the middle is so that your wings don't just flap down like little sad wings. We want them to be oh, happy little bats. They're happy because they're gonna eat lots of candy. All right, so I'm gonna let that one dry. And I'm gonna do another one because I need two bat wings, don't I? So once you have felt on both sides. You're gonna let that dry and it's gonna take a while so don't get impatient. You want to make sure it's nice and dry. So I'm gonna set both of these over here. Ooh, they're feeling pretty dry to me. Alright so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my little felt thingy here and I'm gonna make two bat wings. Sometimes I like to just freehand things so that's what I'm gonna do right now. If you want you can always draw your bat wings with a marker or something and then cut it out. But I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. So first I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna cut like a little strip here. I'm gonna have a little extra, extra space right there. And then I'm just gonna cut a semi-circle right here at the top. See, like that, that's what it looks like right now. And then I'm just gonna cut some nice little points. Da, 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 da. 
check it out. It's a little bat wing. Remember, you want to have a little extra flap right there. That's because we're going to tape it down. So there's one wing. We're going to try to make our other one. We're going to start again with our little extra flappy right there. And then we're going to make a semicircle. Then let's just cut our bat thingies. And there we go, bat wing numero dos. So I've got my little bat wings here ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them to the side like so. This is what our extra flap is for. Press that down and I'm gonna tape it. All right, see that looks pretty cool. So now I'm gonna do my other side here. Make sure they're even. Yeah, that's pretty even. Flapping flying pumpkin there, but we're gonna we're gonna turn it into a whole bat. So once you have your bat wings taped down, then we're just gonna take some more of this black tape and we're gonna cover our pumpkin. And so the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna start by applying long strips here. All right, now I'm just gonna cover this sucker with tons of tape. We're almost done. Getting it nice and covered. And check it out. We have got ourselves a bat here. There we go. Got one last, actually two last little things that we're going to do. We're going to add some eyes. One and two. Oh my gosh. I love these. Hold on. I just love googly eyes. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it is about them, but they're just so much fun. All right, let's glue these babies down. We want these to be stuck on for good. All right, there's one. Let's do two. And oh my gosh, check it out. We have got ourselves a super duper awesome Halloween bat candy bucket. Oh my gosh, it's a bad. All right, oh, hey, almost, almost done. Hold on, just sit right there. Don't go anywhere. Get the finishing touches coming right up. And ta-da! Check it out. I've got my bat costume. I've got my bat candy bucket here that we just made. I'm ready for trick-or-treating, basically. Although, <laughs> I also already put some candy in there because with the candy bucket, whoop, you get back in there. What's a candy bucket without candy in it? There you have it, you're ready for trick-or-treating. So, get down there in the comments, tell me what I should be for Halloween. This is, you know, this is just one of my choices. I have like a million Halloween costume ideas. And here we are! Hey, Crafty Carol! <laughs> Hi, Miss Booksy! Hi, boys and girls! Miss Booksy? Yeah? Kids, <laughs> are you ready to make the most amazing pumpkin of all time? I think so. Are we ready, kids? We're ready. Awesome. So today we are going to make a Snoopy pumpkin. <gasps> Snoopy pumpkin. Ah, it's so cool. And it's extra easy because we okay. have this handy dandy printout stencil, stencil from the Peanuts movie. So it might be the easiest craft we ever did. Easiest pie. Easiest pumpkin pie. Ooh. So what do you need to make this craft? Number one. A pumpkin. Absolutely, gotta have a pumpkin. You're gonna need some pumpkin carving tools, LED lights to go inside your pumpkin, scissors, tape, a bowl for all your pumpkin guts, and of course, a Snoopy stencil, which you can get at a participating pumpkin patch, hashtag peanuts pumpkins. Crafty Carol, what do we need to do first? First thing we need to do is make sure we have a grown up helping us at home making this pumpkin because it involves some sharp tools and grown up needs to help out. Definitely. Ms. Booksy, are you a grown up? I'm a grown up. I'm a grown up too, so we're okay. Let's, Let's get, get started. Yeah. We're gonna cut the hole in the top of the pumpkin so we can take the lid off and on. It doesn't matter if the hole is like a perfect circle because it's like a puzzle piece. Whatever we cut, this top is gonna fit perfectly. I think we're ready to remove the head. The hat. Oh. Here we go, perfect. Okay, so now that we have the little hat on here, what do we do next? Well, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna reach in and we're gonna pull out all of the pumpkin stuff. This Seeds and guts. Ooh. This is the fun part. You're gonna get your hands a little dirty. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. I'm excited. Ah. Oh, we need somewhere to put all this. Hmm. Good thing I brought oh. this bowl. <laughs> so we got our scooper tool here. But first I just wanna do this. <gasps> it's alive! Uh. I'm going in! Yeah. Watch out! 
Oh, I didn't get as much as you. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what's that? What? What? What is? What oh is my God. What? That shouldn't be in there. Oh, no. If that's in your pumpkin, you take it back to the store. That's not. Let's see what else is in here. Oh my gosh, it feels like a. <gasps> ah! <gasps> oh, whew, that was close. All right. Oh, just pumpkin gift oh. this time. <laughs> and now I'm gonna go back to the tools. So hand wash break. All right. So we've gotten our hands dirty, but then we washed them, and you just. Scrape for a while, make sure you get all the pumpkin strings and all the seeds out. All right, we almost got this pumpkin totally cleaned out. Halloween is my favorite day. Halloween, everybody jump up and say yay. Halloween, I'm gonna say trick or treat. Trick or treat. Give me candy. Give me something good to eat. And that is looking fabulous. Fantastic. The next thing we want to do is tape our stencil down. I've already got it trimmed a little bit. All right, we'll just tape this little Snoopy down. You want to just kind of get, try to get it as flat as you can. What do you think, Miss Books? You think we're just about done here? I think it's ready. All right, check it out. Look at that pumpkin. Now, it's time for another sharp pokey tool. So. Uh oh, get a grown up. Get a grown up. Grown up, grown up. Are you a grown up? You're a grown up? I'm a grown, I'm up. A grown up. All right, Woo. Woo. we're good. Here we go. Woo. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of our little pokey tools here and we're gonna make a series of cuts along the white and we're gonna make it kind of like it's a connect the dots. Okay. We'll see. And again, we're not cutting all the way through right now. You don't have to worry about that. You're just making little, little pokes along your border. Just poking holes, poking holes. Let me help you out here. Whew. All right, Whew. so glad I have a break. Now I can talk to you about how much I love peanuts. Mm. I love Snoopy, I love Linus, I love Lucy, I love... Linus's blanket. Oh, I love Linus's blanket. Oh my gosh, I had a blankie when I was little. Did you have a blankie? I did have a blankie, it was pink. Aww. Aww. Yeah. A little crafty Carol. <laughs> Booksy's doing such a great job. Thanks. Yeah, I hope your grown up at home is doing a really good job. You know, grown ups are the ones that sound like this. Wah, 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 Like that. That looks great, Crafty Carol. Oh my gosh, Miss Booksy, hold on. Snoopy, are you ready for your close up? <gasps> Looking so good. Miss Booksy, can you do the dance from Peanuts? Now we're gonna take the paper off and we're gonna get to cutting. Ah, ooh, yeah! It's looking cool. So what you should ooh. see is like a very clear outline. It looks like Snoopy! Yeah! All right, so now let's start cutting. Let's get going. I'm gonna start with this small little carving tool. I'm ready to go ahead and poke this part out. Wow! Check it out! All right, Miss Booksy, you wanna get, you wanna do one? Sure! All right, there you go. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh, man, that looks awesome. Look at that. We got a Snoopy ear there. Ooh. <gasps> oh, sir. Ta-da! You've got yourself a Snoopy pumpkin right here, folks. All right, so now we're just putting in our LED candles because yeah, it looks amazing right now, but we gotta see how it looks in the dark, because it is, after all, a jack-o'-lantern. Jack Got some LED lights in there. It's time to check this baby out in the dark. All right, lights. Whoa! Wow! That's so awesome! It's beautiful! It's truly a great pumpkin. Pumpkin. I'm just peanuts about this pumpkin. So now you see it, now let's have the lights. I love our Snoopy pumpkin. I can't wait for Halloween, Carol. Oh my gosh, me too. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. I'm here with my good friend, Sabrina. Oh my gosh, I found Sabrina. 
kids. Say hi to Sabrina. Hi, hi kids. kids. Oh yeah. Oh wow. They're sorry. They're they get loud. They're really loud. We are in Los Angeles. That's right. We've been hanging out with movie stars and poolside, soaking up the sun, just living that LA life. It's pretty fabulous. And now we're gonna make a craft. I'm thinking maybe we'll make some best friend crafts. Does that sound good to you? Awesome. So we're gonna make some matching sunglasses and some matching BFF bracelets. Did you know I got inspired by a craft that you made? She made the most amazing DIY sunglasses, sent us a picture, and voila, inspiration. So here's what you need to make this craft. Sunglasses, glue, scissors, charms, string, sparkly doodads, beads with letters, and these super nifty charms with words on them. Oh, what time is it? Do you know? Uh, Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I know, it's crafting time. So let's get started making this craft, how about it? Yes. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. You're ready, all right. Yeah, I was born ready. The moment I was born, I started crafting. All right, so let's start with the glasses. I'm gonna make a pair for Sabrina, my friend here, and she's gonna make a pair for me. Go wild, make it you want. Oh, nice, you're going for the sparkly flowers. I love these stick-on gems, they're so easy. You don't have to get all messy with the glue. So what is your favorite kind of crafting to do? I like to craft with sparkles and Fabric. Always add more sparkle. That's what I always say. Oh, sorry, I'm hogging all the glue here. I'm just finding my letters. Okay. What letter are you looking for? Q. There's a missing letter. Oh my gosh. Found one. You gotta make sure you hold it up so the letters don't slide off while the glue dries. I'm liking these. Hey, don't peek. This is a surprise. The thing about sunglasses in Los Angeles, the sun's always shining here. You can wear them when we need to be incognito, you know, when like the paparazzi are chasing us and we're just like, please, no pictures. I know, like, we're the most famous, awesome crafters in the world. Although, they're not really good for disguise because they have our names on it. <laughs> what was the first craft you ever made? I know that's a hard question. You probably don't remember, but maybe you do. Oh, uh, I think I, it was like a candy bracelet. I love candy bracelets. How am I supposed to not eat it immediately? Yeah. I'm supposed to wear it around and not eat the candy? Then it look, candy might get expired and all smelly. I don't want to live in a world where candy goes bad. I don't like it. All right, I'm ready to let these these babies dry. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit. You still need that napkin? Are you all done? Oh, I, okay, done. let's throw that back there. That's where the trash goes. There you go. We've got another one here. Oh, that one goes over there. There you go, good job. We did, we really cleaned up nice. All right, so we're moving on to best friend craft numero dos. We're gonna make some friendship bracelets. Which color would you like to work with, Sabrina? We've got a little pink, for, okay, pink. And you're making the bracelet for me, right? Yes. Okay, so let's measure my wrist. I think we need about that much, but I'm gonna cut it just a little more. We can always trim off the extra part at the end. So there. For you, and you measure your wrist. She's very intuitive, she knows her crafts. She's making a knot at the end, so every time we put a bead on, it doesn't just fall right off into the abyss of missing crafts. I'm gonna choose words from this that I think describe you. That's what I was saying. That's, that's what you're doing to you? I'm gonna take more than I need just so I throw you off the scent and you don't know which ones I'm using. I know you're a big music fan, right? Yeah. Well, music that I can dance to. I like doing the robot. Do you ever hear the robot? Okay, no peeking. No peeking, really, but let, let me just ch test this on your wrist. Okay. It's a little crazy. I'm gonna take one of those tassels off. <laughs> all right. Ah, oh, too many tassels. I went tassel crazy. You're all finished? Yes. Okay, let's show the kids at home how amazing they look. And let's read what we have here. Mine says, gentle, forever, secret princess. I am a secret princess. How did you know? I'm gonna be having to sign autographs all day, every day now. I've got special, gentle, divine, crazy, because I know you get a little bit crazy like when we do the robot, and believe. All right, let's flip around and see what it says on the other side. Always smile. Princess, because you're obviously a princess. Friend on there, because you're such a good friend. And then forever, because we be friends forever, right? What does yours say? Divine beauty special friend. I love it. So, you ready to put these on? Okay. And voila, madame. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Are we ready for our glasses? Yes. 
Okay, I made these glasses for you. You say Sabrina on one side and then BFF with a heart on the other. Oh my gosh, I have never had a pair of such sparkly glasses. Let's just do some little posing here. They're looking pretty good. Oh yeah, work the collar. It's good. High five. Other side. Pound it out. It explodes. And there you have it, boys and girls. Super simple. Super amazing. Best friend crafts that you can make with your super awesome BFF. So I think this might be the best craft in the world. What do you think? Yes. Actually, I know you watch a lot of Crafty Carol videos. Do you have, and I know this is a difficult question, do you have a favorite craft? Uh, my favorites are all of them. Oh my gosh, that's the best answer in the world. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. It's holiday time! Okay, all right, I might be just a little bit early, but I already got a bunch of requests in the comments for holiday crafts. And I just got this Beatles Gem Designer Studio as a gift. And I just can't wait to get crafting for the holidays. Today we're gonna make three different DIY holiday charms for your room, to decorate your tree, a card, yourself whatever you want to deck out with some fabulous gems. So what do you need to make this craft? We've got our Beatles kit here that comes equipped and ready for craft time. I've got blank white paper so I can show you how we can create some designs of our own, some colored pencils, a regular pencil, a pair of scissors, some ribbon, and I've got my spray bottle here filled with water because I get thirsty. No, just kidding. That's what makes the gems stick together. You don't even need glue kids oh my gosh well okay if only i knew what time it is i don't seem to have a watch here oh that's right i know what time it is it's craft time so let's get started what we would do normally is we would take one of these templates that comes with it and we would stick it under the tray and we'd get to crafting but we're gonna be getting a little extra crafty today and we're gonna make our own. How do you do that? Well, it's very simple and I'm gonna show you how. We're gonna take one of the templates. We're gonna take a blank sheet of paper and we're gonna trace it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and trace a couple more because we're not just gonna make one charm, we're gonna make three. Everything's better in threes. I'd rather have three hot dogs and one. And you know my rule about scissors out there. Use kid safe scissors or get a grown up to help you. I can use these kinds of scissors because I'm actually a grown up. But don't tell the people at Bob's Big Boy Burgers about that because I still get the kids discount. Don't blow my cover, man. So the tray that comes with your kit here, I'm gonna use this gray color and I'm just gonna do this. And voila, I just made an awesome handy dandy DIY template. All right, awesome, so let's make some more. So we've got some blank templates. Let's go ahead and make some designs. We're gonna start with our snowflake design. So what you wanna do is you start in the middle. That one I'm gonna leave blank. So I'll put an X in it right there. And then I'm gonna color the circles around it blue because I'm gonna put blue gems there. I'm gonna take my purple colored pencil here and I'm just gonna go all the way around. Two blue circles, skip one. Two blue circles, skip one. You're starting to see the pattern here. Okay, so then on each of those little two blue circles, you're gonna build out and make kind of a flower shape, a little ring. And then I'm gonna add one extra little dot right there. All right, that's looking really pretty. I'm gonna join these here together with some purple. One more round of detail here. We're gonna add a blue gem to each of these purples. So there we go. I think we are ready to make this charm. We've got our Beatles gem tray here. You wanna line it up. And we've got a DIY template right here. And we're gonna start filling it up with our beads. And just spin it around till you find the color you want. And then you pump right here, and then you just drop the beads out. Switch to our purple here. Send some more down the chute here. There you go, lavender beads. Get down to your places. We want to hold our little spray bottle and you want to spray it evenly seven to eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It needs to dry for at least 
30 minutes. Move that over there. Now we're gonna make a blue and yellow star. So the way we start that, start that, we're gonna do one blue circle. Underneath that, we're gonna do four, and then we're gonna do three. Four again, and then we're gonna do one. Now I'm going to take my yellow pencil, fill in every circle that touches these blue circles. We're going to make little points, and then we're going to draw blue circles all around these yellow circles. And there we got ourselves a little star here. We're ready to get started with the beading process. We've got our template lined up. Going around here, filling in my yellows. Hey, I'm going to change this one up a little bit. Instead of doing all blue around the outside, I'll do one blue. One yellow, one blue, one yellow. It's simple, you'll see. There they go, sliding down it's like a water slide. I have one thing I wanna do. I wanna take one of these beads out so that we can loop some ribbon there so we can hang it somewhere, you know. All right, so let's get this thing sprayed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set that aside to dry. All right, so let's do one last one. We're gonna do a Christmas tree. I got my green colored pencil here. I'm just gonna start near the top there. Fill in green circles. Make a triangle shape, just like a Christmas tree. You might be saying, Carol, what about the ornaments? Don't worry. I'm just gonna do it all green right now, and then we're gonna do our other colors on top of it. You'll be able to tell the difference, I promise. I'm gonna take yellow. I'm gonna do circles up top. And that'll look like we've got a little Christmas tree stand. And you can put your ornaments wherever you want. Let's do a blue. Let's add some yellow. Pink one there. We're ready to start filling this thing in. Go ahead and do my three yellows here at the top. Go ahead and switch to our green. Fill it up with some lavender beads there. A couple of blue ornaments. And let's add some yellow. We'll do a pink at the base. And you'll see I left a little hole open right there so we can loop our ribbon through. So let's get this baby sprayed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We just gotta let it dry for 30 minutes at least. Oh, I'm gonna take a little break. Okay, that's enough. Okay, we've got our Christmas tree here. You can use one of the templates and just slide it under. Be very careful. Of course, we gotta run a little ribbon through it. Tie a little loop-de-loop -loop and ta-da! Let's check out our star charm here. Oh, this is looking good. This one's very delicate. Let's see how it does. I am in love with this snowflake. Three amazing holiday charms, perfect for any way you want to celebrate this year. I'm gonna give this ornament to Miss Booksy. I'm gonna hang this charm in my window at home, and I'm gonna put this little guy on a card for my mom. All right, bye. Hola, chicos. Oh my gosh, what was that? I think it was Spanish, but good thing my friend Basho is here from Basho and Friends. He's a teacher and he knows a lot about languages. So Basho, what did I just say? Hola chicos means hi kids. Well, hi kids, yeah, and hi Basho. Hi Carol. How are you? I'm fantastic, well, muy bien. Oh, muy bien. I think that means uh, super awesome? Yep, pretty okay. much. All right, we are gonna be making a craft today with Basho using corn husks and what's that in Spanish? Muñecas de hojas de elote. Actually, how do you say what time is it in Spanish? Que hora es? Okay, well, que hora es? Crafting time? That's right, it's crafting time. So, let's get started. Let's what get do you, started. What do you need to make this craft? We're gonna tell you in English and... En Espanol. That's right. You need some corn husks. Hojas de elote. Twine. Cuerda. Some colorful yarn. Cuerda de colores. Scissors. Tijeras. And, because we're gonna make this into a little ornament for the holidays, some silver bells. Cascabelas. As we work, I'm probably gonna ask you the Spanish words for some things, so put on your thinking cap. Oh, Great. wait, is that your thinking cap? <laughs> All right, good. Only when it's backwards. Oh, that's it's important, kids. So we're gonna take a few pieces of our corn husks here. Pro tip, soak these for a while in water first. I soak these for about 15 minutes. That makes them a little easier to work with. So we're just gonna take a few pieces and line them up together, kind of like a fan. Grab some twine. Here's a piece for you. Thank you. And let's get a piece for me. Right there. Gather those together here and tie it up tight. 
Your hat you can just cool off for a minute. All right, that's good. And you're gonna fold down each husk and just turn it around. It's gonna be the head of our doll. All right, so we're gonna just tie around here. You just tie a little knot, make sure it's tight. Next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna set this little guy aside. We're gonna make some arms. All right, so just take another piece of corn husk here and we're just gonna roll it up. Basho, if you would, please hold that for me. Thank you. Of course. Got a little piece of twine here. I'm gonna tie that up and I'm gonna tie the other end. So right now we're making the arms and the hands. How do we say that in Spanish? Brazos are the arms. Okay. Y manos, las manos. Oh, manos, oh. The hands. That's right. So there we have some arms. So we're gonna take our little doll person here. All right, and then I'm just gonna stick the arms in. Check it out. Oh, All perfect. Right. All right, so we're gonna make a little waist now. Basho, you're a singer. What's your favorite song to sing? I think it changes, but most recently, Hola Amigo. Hola, 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 amigo. Hoy será un día bonito. Okay, I think that means, hello, friend. Muy bien. But what's the next part mean? I can't get that far. Hoy, today, será, will be, un día, a day, Bonito, beautiful. Today will be a beautiful day. Oh, today will be a beautiful day because we're making some crafts. I love it. What's more beautiful than friends making crafts together? Nada. Yeah, is that right? Muy bien. All right. Oh, it's nice. like a belt. Exactly. So, Basho, do you want your doll to have a dress or pants? Um, maybe pantalones. Pantalones. Oh, okay, that means pants, right? Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna cut right up the middle. Okay. There you go. He's walking. And now we're just gonna tie it off with some twine. So I need four pieces of string? That's right. Cuatro, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That was one, two, three, and four. Muy bien, Carol. Gracias. Oh, that's perfect. You getting there? Basho, you're like a natural born crafter. I know we're not working with any glitter right now, but I have been called the glitter queen. La reina, la reina is the queen, la yeah. reina de glitter. Ooh, that, so that sounds so much more distinguished now. All right, la reina, la de reina glitter. de glitter. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Ooh, that looks awesome. All right, check it out. Basho made a little miniature Basho here. We can trim up some of that twine. Let's trim up some of that twine. Trim, trim up the twine, twine trim up the twine, twine trim up the twine, twine, we're trimming the twine. Trim now it's twine. time for you to trim the My twine. twine. My twine. twine. <laughs> We've got ourselves two little dolls here. They're looking pretty great. But let's decorate them. Let's get them a little more sassy. Let's use some of this colorful yarn here. So I can do whatever I want? Absolutely. I'm gonna like make some like little scarves and like fancy little belt here, but huh. you can do absolutely whatever you want. Is there a limit to how much yarn I can use? Absolutely not. Why would I ever impose a yarn limit? All right. What am I, a monster? That's my girl. That's right. Basho's making his so colorful. I gotta step up my game. Hold on. I'm gonna put some bells on mine. Game on, game on. Hold on. Ooh. Momento. Momento, por favor. Ooh, this is pretty nice. nice. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my jingle bells. Around the neck. Look what I did. It's a bell e button. Oh my gosh! Oh, that joke was a little bit corny. <laughs> <laughs> I love this doll so far, but I kind of want to just take it up one notch. I just made some crafty carol glasses for my corn husk doll. Look, what, what, what. Oh I my gosh! A, I made a trucker hat for my doll. That's awesome. That's amazing. There you have it, boys and girls. That's how you make corn husk dolls. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Hasbro sent us their brand new for real friends, Star Lily the Magical Unicorn, and they're sponsoring this video. How cool is that? I have a very special guest with me. This is Sadie. Sadie, let's say hi to the kids out there. Hi! And another thing that makes today so awesome is that we're doing a unicorn craft. Question for you, Sadie. Do you love unicorns? Yes. Oh, uh, that's the correct answer. Good job. All right. The number one reason today's craft is going to be super duper awesome. Star Lily! Woo! 
she's excited too. So Sadie and me, we are gonna make a beautiful accessory for her glorious mane. So here's what you need to make this craft. We're gonna need one barrette, as you see here, some felt, mm -hmm. sparkly jewels and doodads, some scissors and some glue. But we're gonna do everything times three though. And why is that, Sadie? That way we have one for Starlight and one for each of us. Uh-huh, exactly. Now let's stop horsing around and start making this craft. How about it? You ready, Sadie? Yep. All right, you ready, Star Lily? I think that's a yes. So what kind of shape would you like cut into your felt for your hair accessory? I think I'm gonna do a spaghetti. Oh, it's like some ribbons shape. like hanging down? Yeah. Okay. Here, give me that and I'll get started for you. She looks like she's hungry. Oh, oh, well, I have a sugar berry right here. You were a little snack. Mm. Oh, oh, I think she likes it. Mm-hmm. Say mm -hmm. All right, check out these spaghettis. Those are Ooh, cool. All right. It looks like an octopus. It does. Oh, cool. You can stick on some jewels and glue on mm -hmm. some doodads. Do you and your star lily, do you sing any songs? I like to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with her. It's kind Ooh, of nice. let's do that. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little star. How I wonder what you are. Nice, all right. Let's glue our hair accessories onto our hair clips. That's important. All right. All right. <laughs> Gonna get a little bit messy about that. Yeah, so okay. I'm doing mine. Oh, I don't mind doing yours at all. Let me stick mine to it. And I'm gonna let that dry. Ooh, while I'm doing the glue, why don't you show me some more cool things that Star Lily does? When I tickle her, she's <gasps> good. Oh my gosh! Oh, she loves braids. All right, so while you're braiding her hair and getting her all pretty, what kind of hair accessory should we make for Star Lily? Because I could get started on cutting the shape. Mm -hmm. A flower, or That's maybe a, good idea. a star. Oh my gosh, star, it's so obvious. Her name is Star Lily. Oh, Captain Obvious over here and her assistant, No Nothing Carol. That's me. I don't know anything. All right. My star looks a little crazy right now. Yeah. yeah, but I'm gonna add, I think, a little flower right there yeah, in the middle. Yeah, maybe with this color. The, that felt I can do right. Here, I'll let you add the jewel. Hey, I like your diamond mustache. I like yours too. Cool, all right. I think our glue's probably dried. Will you hand me our, our flower? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. I like what you've done here with the jewel. All right, I'm gonna glue this on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my mustache off. I don't really have a mustache. We'll just let this dry for a second. And while that's drying, I just wonder what it would be like if we could really be in real life with yeah. a real life unicorn. Yeah. Would that be the most amazing thing ever? Yeah. I thought so. So what would that be like? Let's think. Let's imagine. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe there's a secret entrance to uh -huh. the magical world. Oh, I bet if we do this, Miss Booksy does this sometimes. We'll wiggle our nose and we'll snap our fingers and I bet we'll go to the magical land. All right, yeah. are you ready? Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Wow, we're in our magical land. Look over there. How do I look? How do I look? You look amazing. Thank you. Wow, thank you. All right, so now it's Star Lily's turn, Star Lily. Hello, are you ready for your hair accessory? Oh, 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 girl, you better hold your head still. You have to hold your head. All right. Oh, she looks amazing. Check it out, oh, Sadie, yeah. look. Ah! I think we're all looking pretty magical. What do you think, Honey Bunch? I think we look fantastic, especially Star Lily. Yeah, listen to Star Lily. That was that was unicorn for saying you should make your own Star Lily inspired crafts and then tell us about it because we want to see the magic that you create. Mm-hmm. Hi there, kids. I'm Crafty Carol with a brand new craft for you right here at Cool School. Now I know you saw me do my craft for my fur real friend Star Lily, right? Well, now she's back, as is Sadie. So now let's let's uh, tell the kids out there hello. Hello, hello. kids. Hi. Hi. All right. 
So, oh, that's right, Star Lily said hi. So, Sadie is gonna help me make a new craft that I know you are going to love. Sadie, tell the kids what it is. It's a unicorn headband. Wow, that's only the most amazing craft in the world. So what do we need? We need a headband. We're gonna use this glittery cardstock. I've got glow, scissors, ooh, and some fun little doodads, gems, and stick-on jewels here, and some tape. That's it. So now that we know what we need, uh, what do you think we should do? Let's get started. Oh, that's such a good idea. Yeah, let's get started making this craft. Uh-oh, I think she might need her sugar berry. Will you feed, will you feed our, our star lily? All right. She sometimes likes when you... Oh, does she like her ears tickled? Yeah, she, her horse can turn in different colors. So see how simple it is? I just cut this into a triangle, and then I, I rolled it together. Yeah, and I'm gonna do that with yours, too. What I'm gonna do now that I have this handy dandy triangle here is I'm just gonna roll it around until you have basically a little horn here. See? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna trim some of the extras. Tape on the inside and tape the outside here. Pretty much looking like a unicorn horn, right? Oh my gosh, she's a magical unicorn. We gotta put our horn here on our headband. I'm gonna make a little snip right here in the side. If I folded it like this, just a little bit, I'm gonna take my scissors and just oh so carefully, I'm gonna make a little, just the tiniest little cut. So see there, we got two little cuts. And then slide one through and the other. So I've got it poked through the two holes. I'm just gonna ease it on around. All right, you ready to decorate? Yep. So just put lots of jewels and awesome things on there. There's some glue if you need it. We're gonna sing Papa Black Sheep. I think she likes that one. How did she know? Okay, I'm just gonna do some jewels in the front, and then I Whoa, she's going crazy! Did you know that Star Lily's having a party on Friday? Disco. I, oh my gosh, she's having a disco party? Yep, she's inviting all her for real friends. For real friends? So while our glue dries on our headbands, no. let's uh, let's clean up a little bit. Right back there. Okay. All right. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, we're unicorns. We're magical unicorns. You look amazing. So do you. Wow, well, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Leave me a comment and tell me what craft you want to see next. I cannot do it without you. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Crafty Carol here with a brand new craft for you. Today's craft is intergalactically awesome because we are doing, that's right. Star Wars craft. Today we're making Chewbacca pencil toppers. And everybody knows Chewbacca is like the best Wookiee that there is. He's Wookiee of the year. And you might have also noticed that I'm rocking some pretty stylish hair right now. That's right. I got some Princess Leia buns here. They're not cinnamon rolls. Oh, I kind of wish these were cinnamon rolls because I'd just take one down, take a little bite and just put it right back there. Bite on the backside so I'd still look camera ready. Let's get making this craft. Enough about my hair, come on. So what do you need to make this craft? I've got some brown fur, some white paint, black felt, scissors, some googly eyes, a pencil, a brown marker, glue, and one little piece of twine. I wonder what time it is in a galaxy far, far away. Definitely in a different time zone, but I guarantee you that somewhere out in space, it's craft o'clock. May the force be with me today as I show you this craft. So the first thing we're gonna do is, this fur I get, it's really nice, but it's a little bit light. That's why I have a brown marker. So if you've got some nice brown fur, you don't need this. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna give Chewbacca some low lights, that's right. Ever since I got my hair done in a different style, I'm just like total hair diva. Let's just add some nice brown here. Actually, I'm kind of sounding like a Wookiee with my voice today. I'm like halfway there to the, having to have Han Solo translate for me. <laughs> I'm showing you how to make a Chewbacca, but it'd be pretty cool to have a Yoda pencil topper because then if you find yourself confused while you're taking a pop quiz, you'd just be like, hey Yoda, help me out. He'd be like, be the answer is. And you'd be like, oh, awesome. Thanks, Yoda. I think we might have enough 
awesome brown fur here. It's looking pretty good. I got fur all over my marker. That's done. I'm just gonna, not using that marker ever again. I'm gonna see if that's enough. Wrap it around, oh yeah, oh that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim off the rest of this. Alrighty, I'm gonna dab a little glue here. And I'm just gonna roll the chewy around. And we've got a cool little, little fuzzy guy right here. So I'm gonna set that aside so it dries. But we are gonna make Chewbacca's little shoulder strap. So I'm just gonna cut. Oh yeah, that looks like a good size for a shoulder sash. And Chewie's got little pouches. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dab my sponge in this white paint here. I'm just gonna make some little stripes. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut a tiny little slit. This is probably a job for a grown up because it's dealing with scissors really close to your fingers. So I've got a little hole here that I can stick this other side through. All right, so let's let that dry, and let's see how our little Chewy is doing over here. The glue is working pretty well. So we're gonna use this twine to make a head for Chewbacca, kind of like we did with our corn husk dolls. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then check out my corn husk video with Basho. It was amazing. So we've got a little neck there, and I'm gonna trim it. All right, so our little Wookiee here is almost ready for some eyes, but you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the pencil. So there we go. So that makes it a little easier for me to work, actually. So let's glue on some eyes here. Ooh, that's looking cool. All right. Okay, so we got our little googly eyes on here. We're gonna set that aside and let that dry. I don't have anything else to do right now except, I don't know, maybe an old-fashioned staring contest. That's right. And watch out, because I might be using some Jedi mind tricks on you over there, so. All right, three, two, one, and go! Almost, I'm almost gonna blink, but I... Ha! I knew it! I haven't practiced in a while. I used to train like every day, just staring in the mirror. He'd be like, Carol, what are you doing in the bathroom in there? Come on out. And I'll be like, I'm busy. Let's see, our Wookiee's eyes look pretty dry here. Oh, you wanna challenge this guy to a staring contest? He'll stare at you all day long. Let's put on this little, little sash. He probably doesn't call it a little sash, but he probably just calls it a <sighs> And I'm going to poke this other end through the hole that we made there. Doom, 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 doom. Oh yeah, he's strutting, he's working the runway, that's right. And there you have it, boys and girls, a Chewbacca pencil topper. It's super easy, super awesome, and super fuzzy. But beware, if you show up to school with this, Everybody's gonna want one, and you're gonna have to either make a bunch of Wookiee pencil toppers, or you're just gonna have to be like, hey, I saw on Crafty Carol at Cool School, check it out. So that's okay, you can do that. You can always share my videos, I don't mind. So, kids, make one and show me how it comes out. Or, oh, you know what, you could make other pencil toppers of Star Wars characters. You could do Kylo Ren, Rey, BB-8, Han Solo, Princess Leia. And if you make this pencil topper or another Star Wars pencil topper, take a picture and have your mom or dad put it on Instagram and tag us. And get down there in those comments and tell me what you want to see next. I can't do it without you. You're my only hope. You and Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know. Well, hey there, boys and girls. Oh, Jinx. And hey, Miss Booksy. Hi, Crafty Carol. I'm so excited you're here to help me with this holiday craft. I love the holidays. Oh my gosh, I do too. Probably my favorite part about the holidays is crafting, and my second favorite part is eating. So today we are combining those two loves. So today we're gonna be making some decorated <gasps> cupcakes. A snowman cupcake over here, and a reindeer cupcake over here. That's right. So. Miss Booksy, what do we need to make this craft? Two cupcakes, marshmallows, pretzels, peanut butter cups, and some other candy. Food safe sticks or toothpicks. 
and that's all you need. Well, I wish I'd brought my advent calendar oh, so yeah. I would know what day it is, yeah. and I don't have my clock, so I don't even know what time, time it is. is. I guess we're just gonna have to assume that it's like craft o'clock. Craft o'clock. Craft day. So it's pretty much time to get crafting, don't you think? I'm so excited. So which cupcake should we make first? How about the reindeer one? The reindeer, oh, right. That is like chocolatey chocolate chocolate. Exactly, this is like pretty much already a work of art. It's hard to improve on the perfection of this cupcake. If it needs anything, it needs a reindeer. Absolutely, just like Santa. Oh, first step, obviously, you gotta wash your hands. <gasps> Cause like we're dealing with food that we're definitely gonna eat. Did you wash your hands, Miss Booksy? I'm washing my hands, washing my hands, washing my hands. So Woo! We're back. That's Booksy better. Finally washed her hands. <laughs> oh my gosh! I had to like sting into over her shoulder and be like, "Are you done? Like count to 25. Get yeah. all the germs off." So we're gonna take our peanut butter cup here. I'm gonna place that down right there. Okay. And are you ready to make some antlers? <gasps> yes. All right. Super easy. All you do is take some pretzels. We'll snap a few in half and then we'll see which ones the we best. like the best. Ah! Oh my gosh, well, all right, that's no good. Those pretzels are making me thirsty. Oh, I think these are good. I think those are perfect. Oh, colors. those are perfect. Like they the look like little E's. Peel that off. Okay. And then I'm gonna use this just on the front there so I'm not putting my fingerprints all Ooh. on this. If somebody comes along and is like, who stole all the peanut butter cups? They won't look at this peanut butter cup and find my fingerprint on it. Cause like, this is gonna be the perfect crime. I'm gonna eat it when I'm done. Just as gently as possible, I'm gonna pop this little antler in the beautiful. top there. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do just the same thing here. We can use these to make a nose. Smash it on there. Smash. Smurge. Smurge, that's right. She's been reading her Fifty Carol <laughs> dictionary over there. So I'm thinking we can take a little bit of this candy cane and turn okay. that into an eye. Why not? <gasps> All right, there Whoa. we go. Oh my gosh. I know, I've been She's getting strong. I've been hitting the gym pretty hard. It's one of my New Year's resolutions. To uh, be the strongest woman in the world. Oh. Come on, strongest woman in the world. Yeah. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow. So Miss Bootsy, what do you think? holiday horrific. christmas tastic. <gasps> and because this cupcake is so soft and delicious and just perfect and like fluffy, we're just gonna be able to just stick this right down. Check out this Rudolph <sighs> cupcake, that's right. I gotta put it far away so I'm not like just like taking little bites of it because- You have to wait until we're all wait. done to, to eat wait. our crap. All right, so- Well, so what do we have next? Well, we got our snowman cupcake, so Ooh. boom. It's beautiful. It's like a winter wonderland. That's right. I would walk around in it, but it's like I'd have to shrink Shrew. down. Yeah. Yeah, and I'd have to wash my feet for sure. Ooh. Yeah. If you walked around, you'd have to wear your snowshoes. Oh, that's right. Or, or like maybe my ice skates if <gasps> I could dance. Oh, I love skating. Do you? I love to do like snowboarding. I'm pretty like, I'm pretty extreme. You are extreme. Yeah. Sometimes like I'll be snowboarding so fast that like I'll just like do like a sick flip in the air like nine times and then I'll like just like land on my board and keep going. Oh. Let's get ready. Let's okay. Get going. Okay, so here's one marshmallow. Oh! Here's another. Oh! Here's another. Oh! All right. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Yeah. We're just gonna put three marshmallows onto one of these sticks. I'll do one. Okay. This one looks like a good base. This one looks like a good middle. And then we'll just add a little marshmallow head. <gasps> oh, it's so cute already, so squishy. We should add a carrot nose. And that's where these little ropes come in. Whoa, yeah. they're sticky. Use these to make a little scarf and like the eyes even. And, because Booksy, the best thing is we can use them to eat as a snack <gasps> if we need fuel. I don't need too many of them. Yeah, while I'm making the nose, Miss Booksy's gonna make the scarf. So I pulled a little, little bit of orange right there. To make this stick extra good, I'll poke a little hole there, and then I'm just gonna pop this inside. I'm gonna try and put this scarf that I made on our little Oh yeah. Oh, that's so cute. And Frosty also needs some eyes. So pop some little holes in there. And go, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, run away <laughs> snowman. He's doing somersaults. Push that in there. Check it out, that's our snowman. Wow. He looks amazing. He's so cute. He is so cute. All right, so then I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna stick it right in our cupcake there. He's sitting on a pile of snow. Yeah, oh, look at him, he's kind of dancing too. Oh. It's like decorated with some like extra little stuff oh. here. It's cool. Oh. Add some little candies there. Little just candies. Like little decorations there. That looks pretty cool. The big reveal! 
We got some beautiful cupcakes ready for the holiday. We got to eat them before somebody else does. Oh my gosh, you're before right. Before Nikki or Simon come over here. Oh my gosh, uh -oh. you're right. Oh, Simon will eat them Simon right now. All right, let's go. Something. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh. Hey. Uh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You'll do it by yourself. My bad. Rolling. 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 You're rolling. Rolling on the river. <laughs> Be making a snowflake cupcake and I don't remember <laughs> all my reindeer. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. What? Oh yeah, yeah. I think it was awesome. I'm wearing Princess Leia hair. Obviously. <laughs> Pretzels <laughs> are making me thirsty. <laughs> it stinks. It smells bad. <laughs> Walking in a winter, <laughs> walking in, in a winter, winter wonderland. Ha! Cha! Da 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 da